Hi guys, welcome to a special, a very special edition of Revelo, where I'll be interviewing the president of Eternal Glorious Fountain Ministry in the person of Reverend Kayode Oyeguke. We will be asking him questions that have never been asked before. I know that I will be blessed and I'm sure you will too. Stay tuned. Good day, sir. Good day, neighbor. Oh, it's so good to be here. I'm glad to have you in my home. Oh, thank you so, so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. We, we know you're very busy and we really appreciate you, mm. you know, doing this for us. That's thank you nice. so thank much. Thank you. Um, so, yes, uh, we're here to ask you questions. Yes. Lots of questions. Yes, I'm ready. Fantastic. Yes, <laughs> All right. So let's yeah. get to it. Um, okay. We've heard or we know of Believers Convention. Yes. But we don't know mm. how you got the vision. Mm -hmm. And so we would like to know, okay. you know, how that vision came about from the Lord. Okay. Yes. Um, I want to be as uh, truthful and mm. sincere uh, from the bottom of my heart. Um, Belie Believers Convention has been in the spirit a long time ago. Right. Uh, before I came into Lagos, mm. um, I've had uh, things like Believers Convention when I was much more younger. Okay. Um, and uh, that was then in the north. Uh, but now... Uh, as a person and who is not mature the ministry uh, sometime in the 90s 96 mm -hmm. precisely uh, I never thought I would be coming to Lagos well uh, I was with a friend sometime in between 94 and 96 95 sorry to be okay. precise okay. he came to Ogun State to work uh, that's Ijebu the environment mm -hmm. he uh, happened to got, get, he's about to get married, so he invited me to come over. And to God be the glory, I was uh, instrumental to teaching a particular man who was living in Cardinal, but family lives in Lagos. So I taught him for some time. I ran through the scriptures. Right. The grace of God was present, and he was immensely blessed. Mm. So because of that, uh, he took that opportunity to reach out to his wife. He wants me to go to his house from Ijebode. I need to come down to Lagos. That happens to be around Bariga, Elaje. Oh, wow. Are, are you seeing the whole thing? Yeah. So you can see that this thing was somehow staged by mm. God. I won't tell you, I will tell you the truth that God uh, won't tell you all the time how his plans will run. He wants you to. God gives room for faith. So I was able to do that. I left Ijebode. I went to his house. And that happens to be the same season in 1996. Just some days after, in his house, I became 30 years of age. Oh, my. Yeah, that was the time I clocked 30. Hmm. So, a and, uh, so together with her, with the kids, she will cook for me. The husband said, please, celebrate his birthday. No. No. <laughs> so he, she did that for me. And, uh, and uh, that was the time I had opportunity to eat a lot of food then. You know, I was in the wilderness. <laughs> I said, wow, I don't know when the next opportunity like this will come. So I kept eating and somehow, some, something. Uh, if I were to know, some people have just talked to me, boy, take it easy. Uh, <laughs> I know they had them fat to my flesh, <laughs> praise God. And, <laughs> yeah. But she did so well. She took care of me, and I was able to teach her. Mm. And the kids were blessed, praise the Lord. And he now arranged that his own pastor in Lagos should meet with me. And the pastor came, and the pastor talked with me. I talked with him. The pastor was so blessed. You know, I said, man, oh God, this ministry is needed in Lagos. Mm. Uh, and Lagos, 
He said, yeah, this ministry is needed in Lagos. Sorry to take you back. Mm -hmm. I was in the transport, uh, the vehicle taking me from Ijabode to Lagos. While I was in the vehicle, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me. You are coming down to Lagos. You won't go back to the north again. Oh, my. I, so you can see that. So when he was talking about, the pastor literally began to talk to me about Believers Convention starting in Lagos. Mm. Again, mm. are you getting me? I so said, that was like a confirmation. That's a confirmation. Mm. So I, I went back to, um, to Kaduna after a series of meetings because the pastor told me to handle some of his services. He was so blessed. Eh? We need this ministry in Lagos. God mm. just prepared that wonderful pastor to be able to help that ministry start in Lagos. So I went down to Kaduna. 1997, I prepared the handbill in Kaduna. So I came down with my crew. So we had a believers convention wow. in Elaje. Hmm. He gets me. Small church, very small church. And people came, pastors came. We had a miracle of attendance. People came. And that was the first time I met Pastor Oko, then Pastor Emeka's pastor. And that was the first oh. time I met Pastor, em pastor Emeka. He was pretty young then. Oh. Pastor Oko came with Pastor Emeka together with Mama Oko, Pastor wow. Mrs. Oko. Yeah. Uh, pastor Oko kept looking at me and kept wondering, how can this kind of a thing be? So after the program the next day, he spoke to me and said, man of God, what you're preaching is what God told me to preach. Mm. Wow. Wow. What, you, what you're preaching, we have the same message. Can we get to meet? Can we get to meet? So we, I went to his home, he invited me into his house. That's how we became friends. And our, our friendship and a family was mm. born. Praise God. Mm. Um, then another believers convention also came again at uh, Elijah Road at uh, Bolat Hotel. That's the second edition mm. which we had. And that began to grow. Another one came again at uh, Akoka. Actually, that, that was the time I got in contact with my wife. I was able to uh, I began to court her then, preparing mm. to get married. So we had one before we actually were, maybe before we were married. And it was also a wonderful session. Um, all I want to say is that Believers Convention is God's own idea. It's not my idea. Yeah. This is what I wanted to hear. Yeah. God started it. God led it. Are you listening to mm -hmm. me? I fit into the plan. Mm. Are you listening to yes. me? Just to Make Carry sure out. his word will get out to the body of Christ. Mm. I'm sure you hope. Mm. Mm. Wow. Very insightful. Yeah. So the Lord orchestrated Everything. it and just dropped you no, right I, there. I need to, I need to so. actually separate myself mm. from it okay. so you can see yeah. it's God's own idea. Yeah. It's yeah. not just man's idea. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. So, so, sir, mm -hmm. um, what is believing?
I want you to jump on your feet and shout hallelujah. If you are so excited to be under the atmosphere of the spirit, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Can we raise our hands to the Lord Jesus and thank him for the opportunity to be here today? I want us to open our mouths and begin to appreciate the Lord Jesus. I want everybody in the auditorium, please stop whatever you are doing. Remove the distraction. Let the wandering stop right now. Everybody outside, you can come inside. Let us be connected to the meeting. Can we open our mouths? If you don't mind, you can close your eyes and begin to exalt the Lord Jesus. Can we bless the Lord and say, Father, we bless you. 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 We worship you. We exalt you. We praise you. We glorify you. Ajena Gatela Banandia Katale Baranda Katela Barada Bakatala. It's a privilege. Apakatela Makasheta Brahansa Sabarageta Leba. O Neshiga Papa Tela Keste Peresta Fila Baka. I want you to open your mouth. I want you to appreciate the Lord. I want us to bless the Lord. I want us to give Him all the glory. We are doing it intentionally, sincerely. From the depth of our heart, we bless you. 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 Get na Gaza so parata pasta. Let's make sure that whatever we are doing on this ground, we are doing it well. We are doing it with all of our heart. We are doing it with all of our heart. We praise you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We blow. We exalt you. We praise you, Jesus. We come to your presence with alo in our heart. We come to your presence with great fear. We come to your presence with great trembling. We come to your presence with great honor in our heart. We come to this place with great fear. We have come to meet the King. We have come to meet our Father who is in heaven. We have come to meet Jesus. Yay! We are in the presence of innumerable company of angels. Kabane kasta kabali papa. Yone lema kosta pridiavata. Yana kate kata kate la maka. We are namo shataba. We are mane kate kadila. We are on the ground, the holy ground in the spirit. The holy ground in the spirit. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let everything that has life praise the Lord. Let our soul praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord. Ele katoshi ne gafina katabia, apa na gete gedi la makase se fe fe shiba, mande kata kate la bakasti baba. Oh, we bless you, shina kata kabalita. Oh le 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 le. Na kata kate kata 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 kata. Raba ba makata la barak. We honor you, Jesus. Nick, take all the glory, take all the praise. Take all the glory, take all adoration. Raka de le basho shoda baka. Ete neke de le geti na kasa severe baka dala basta. Presence of Jesus, we bless you, Jesus. Yana kate kadila manda paraka sisa. Our soul is ascending. Our soul is in the presence. Our soul before the Lord. Eke de le bana kasti ba 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 ba. Oh, sing Osana, Osana. Let everything within you praise the Lord. 
convention you show us help my heart help my heart help my heart help my heart show us mercy I want you to pray for a personal mercy a personal mercy have mercy on me believers convention 2023 I would encounter mercy I will encounter mercy I will encounter mercy I will encounter mercy I will encounter mercy. Have mercy on me. Have mercy. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, Jesus. Basta. I will encounter mercy. We cry for mercy. We pray for mercy. Show us mercy, Jesus. Show us mercy, Jesus. We pray. Have mercy. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. I cry for mercy. Everybody pray. Close your eyes. Connect to the spirit. Don't look at anybody. I want you to pray. Show me mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. And I got to live, 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 Have mercy on us, Jesus. Have mercy on us, Jesus. It's a leg, leg, Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Shall they get to get Have mercy on my heart. Have mercy on us as a people. We will not miss the spirit. I want you to pray, 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 pray. We are asking mercy as, as a people. Mercy as a congregation. Mercy personally. Have mercy on us, Jesus. We pray, show us mercy, Jesus. 
We ask for mercy, Jesus. We cry for mercy, Jesus. We cry for mercy. We cry for mercy. We cry for mercy. We cry for mercy. We ask for mercy. Show us mercy. In Jesus' name we are prayed. First Peter chapter 1 verse 13 says, Wherefore, guard up the loins of your mind, be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought up to you at the revelation of Jesus. There is a weight of the Spirit upon us as a company. This year's Believers Convention there is so much gravity in the spirit. There is so much weight of the spirit, a sense of responsibility. There is so much burden of the Lord upon us in this year's Believers Convention that the Lord is expecting a spirit of soberness. The Lord is expecting a spirit of gravity. I want us to pray that the Lord will baptize all of us in this camp with the fear of God. That these seven days, we are going to operate under the spirit of the fear of God. That the Lord will bless us with the spirit of soberness. I want us to open our mouth and begin to pray. Can you hold somebody that the Lord should bless us with the spirit of soberness, with the spirit of gravity, with the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Are you opening your mouth and pray? Bless us with the fear of the Lord. Bless us with the fear of the Lord. Bless us with the fear of the Lord. Baptize us with the spirit of soberness. Baptize us with the spirit of sobriety. In the name of Kita Barakataka. Take away every form of fleshy excitement. Take away every form of fleshy excitement from the camp. Yemelebe Kotele can we ask for your spirit, your spirit of soberness, your spirit of weight, your spirit of gravity, the spirit of the fear of the Lord, the spirit of caution, the spirit of reverence. Let it fill the camp. Etaniga, Hashelema, Osali, Akele, Osamina, Asobele, Asamele. Are you praying? As you're praying, I want you to picture that something from Jesus is entering into your soul. I want the spirit of soberness. Let the body of the spirit, let it fall upon the camp. Let the body of believers convention in the spirit. Let it fall upon every heart, everybody online, everybody in the auditorium, everybody outside the auditorium. We take away every fleshy excitement. We want the body of the Spirit to rest upon us. As you are praying, I want you to know. In the name of the Lord Jesus, are you praying? Tell the Lord, put the burden of this convention upon my heart, upon my soul. I want the weight of the Spirit to rest upon us, the weight of the glory of God. There is a weight, there is a weight, it's a weight of glory. There is a weight, it's a weight of glory. There is a weight. It's a weight of glory. I I want you to cry. I want you to pray. I want you to beg. I want you to beseech the Lord. I want you to plead to the Lord. Show me mercy, Jesus. We will not miss our Lord. Hey! 
You put the spirit of soberness. Be sober. Hope to the end. For the grace. There is a grace. There is a grace that is about to be brought forth at the revelation of Jesus. Temper my heart with the right atmospheric condition, with the right spiritual condition for believers' convention. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Can we pray for a spirit of repentance? A spirit of repentance. A spirit of repentance. A spirit of repentance. A spirit of conviction. A spirit of change. I want us to pray. None of us will be spared by the Spirit. Everybody will come under the weight of the Spirit. Kabeli Katasha. There is an expectation. There is an expectation of the Lord Jesus concerning us at this time. There is an expectation. There is an expectation in the heart of Jesus concerning us. Can we pray that we will pick the body in the heart of Jesus? We will pick the body in the heart of Jesus. We are not here for any other reason than to receive the grace, to receive the grace that will be brought at the appearance of Jesus. Help us, help us. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? I perceive in my spirit that we are having help. We are having breakthrough. Let the spirit of the fear of the Lord, let the spirit of caution, let the weight of the spirit, let it rest, let it rest. Let it rest. Bless the Lord Jesus. Are we praying? Bless the Lord. In Jesus' name we are praying. I want us to pray for tonight's meeting. Tonight's meeting is very important. Tonight's meeting sets the course of the old convention. Tonight's meeting, you know, it's like what will bring direction to believers' convention. Can we pray that we'll find mercy not to miss what Jesus asked for us tonight? The truth is that it's not possible for us to gather like this and Satan also is not gathering to attack us. We will be lying to ourselves that Satan is not doing something right now to actually attack us. But the prayers of the saints can give us victory. We can prevail in the place of prayer. Can we begin to pray that the Lord Jesus will prevail concerning us tonight? That everything we are to come into in tonight's meeting, that the Lord will help us to prevail. I want you to hold somebody and begin to pray for tonight's meeting. That the Lord will help us. That the Lord will help us. That the Lord will help us. That we are going to come into what Jesus has for us tonight. I want you to pray. I want us to resist the devil with our prayers. By our prayers, we are resisting the devil and he will flee from us. We are resisting the devil from attacking, from attacking our blessing, from attacking, attacking tonight's meeting. Yay! Jesus will prevail. Jesus will prevail. Jesus will prevail. 
Jesus, prevail, 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 prevail. Mamre telega rada la taliga ruba rada la taliga rasta. Amra ta 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 ta. We are not praying. We are not praying. Prete barada la telega ruba rada la taliga rada la telia le. There will be a prevailing of Jesus upon us in this meeting in the name of Jesus. Shamre ke telege de vre de barada la telege de 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 de. Jesus will prevail. Mama ne pa pa para telege ro gara 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 la te. Upon every soul, upon every heart, upon every man, upon every woman, upon every child, Jesus will prevail. The desire of Jesus, the desire of Jesus, the desire of Jesus, who will fulfill upon every soul in the name of Jesus. Shambareka parata parote bereka talita. Shambreka telega de brede parade la taliga rossa. Shinga la mate. Hombreka telega de brede parade la tessia. Let's not drop in the tempo of our prayer. Let's pray. Prete pega, prete peli, and take a telega roga raga de la telia tessia. Pray. Still praying. Still praying. I'm still going to pray. I'm going to pray and labor some more. God's servant, I dare that. Would I must still pray more? Amen. Can we turn our Bibles to 2 Peter chapter 1? Let's read some scriptures and we'll pray. The Lord Jesus, through word, through prophecy, has promised us that this year's Believers Convention. That something major is going to happen to everyone gathering. And one great assurance that I have in my spirit, which I believe the Lord is going to be accomplishing upon this year's Believers Convention, that every grass, every grass, everyone that would gather, the rain would touch every heart. In the name of Jesus, there will be a major baptism. There will be a major baptism. God said that daddy was teaching when he was teaching the book of Ezekiel, he said, Ezekiel measured the first thousand cubits. He was to the ankle. He measured another thousand cubits to the knee. He measured another thousand cubits. He was to the ankle. He measured another thousand cubits. He was to the waist. The last thousand cubits was a river that, could, that he could not pass over. He said, afterward, he measured a thousand. And it was a river that I could not pass over. For the water were risen waters to swim in. A river that could not be passed over. And there will be a major baptism upon every soul. Everyone in this year's convention will be baptized. Nobody will leave this convention the same way they came. In the name of Jesus. Can we read 2 Peter chapter 1? 2 Peter chapter 1. From verse 9. He said, but he that lack at these things is blind and cannot see afar off. For he had forgotten that he was purged of his whole sin. He said, Wherefore rather the bread, wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, you shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered in unto the unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He said, if you do these things, you shall never fall. I'd like us to pray. I'd like us to pray that the Lord will cause the spirit of diligence to come upon every soul. The spirit of diligence will come upon every heart in the name of Jesus. Because why? There is a necessity for an entrance. There is a necessity for the ministration of the abundant entrance into the everlasting kingdom. 
One thing I believe so strongly in this year's convention, in this year's convention, one thing I believe so strongly that we will not just be people of knowledge only, but we'll be people of measure, we'll be people of lines, we'll be people of life. God servant our Lord, he said, lines and measure is life. It is life that this year's convention, we will go home with packages of life. In the name of Jesus, can we pray? Can we pray? Hold your brother, hold your sister. Can we pray that the spirit of diligence will rest upon every soul? In the name of Jesus, we are not praying. We are not praying. Who will give diligence? Who will give diligence? Who will give diligence? In the name of Jesus. Shele Mario Telega de Brede Balada La Tessia. Ancha, cha, 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 Amen. 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 Still praying that same prayer. Hebrews chapter 2. He said, Therefore, we need to give, therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them sleep. For if the words spoken by angels were steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward, how shall we escape if we neglect? Now you see, this, ne this negligence is a spirit. This issue of negligence is a spirit. How would a soul neglect? You know, this kind of meeting, what the Lord has promised to do, what the Lord has promised to give unto us in this year's Believers Convention. A soul can come casually. I see that casual coming is an attitude of neglect. But something would happen to us as we pray. We are beginning this year's Believers Convention with a cry to heaven that the spirit of neglect will be removed from our soul. For everyone will give the earnest heed. Every word that will be coming from ministers, every word that will be coming from some, we will give the earnest heed. You know, God's handmaiden, our dear mommy, would always say something. He said, anytime message is going on, she believes, she behaves like a goalkeeper. You know what a goalkeeper does? Nothing must slip me by. Every ball that is coming, I must catch it. Every ball that is coming, we must catch it. Why? Because it is necessary for our entrance. One thing I believe so strongly that is the burden of God's servant in this year's convention is that everyone must enter. Everyone must enter. We will not leave this year's convention with an attitude of what are they even talking about? As we will be living here, we will live as a learned. We will live as a changed person. We will live as one that has ability to appropriate life in the name of Jesus. Can we pray with that Hebrews chapter 2 that in this year's convention, as convention is beginning now on Sunday, that I will give the more energy to the things that have been spoken in the name of Jesus. That every word spoken, every word spoken in this year's convention. Ancha jeje ma shopere bari katali atesia Ancha lege de brede barade la tesi I will give the air more energy I will give the more energy to every word spoken to every word spoken in the name of Jesus Ole jeje 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 I will not neglect I will not neglect lines I will not neglect measures I will not neglect the spirit. I will not neglect the spirit. Shabarada la telega de brene barada la tesia. Elegade la teliga rote barada la teliga rocha. 
Do well to labor more in the place of prayer. Pray, 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 pray. Press it, palate, lega, de bre, de balade, la tessia. Shanda, lega, de le, de le, de le, de le, de There is an entrance that is prepared for this year's convention. There is an entrance prepared for this year's convention. There is an entrance prepared for this year's convention. And Jesus, Jesus is a time to minister it. Jesus is a time to minister it. Shamba la gara la tele gede brede balade la tessia. Ole je 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 je. Shamba la gara la tele gara gara la balade la tessia. Shara balade, shara balade, shara balade, shara balade. Breke tele gede brede balade la tele gede lesse. Shen tele gede brede balade la tessia. I will give the more honest seed. I will give the more honest seed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Still praying. One very constant prophecy and word of the Lord that kept coming to us in the preparation for believers' convention is the word appearance. Is the word appearance. Is the word appearance. Jesus wants to appear. Jesus wants to appear. Can we pray? Can we pray? You know, Jesus said, I am the open door. I am the open door. Now, when Jesus appeared to a soul, open door has, has appeared. And when open door appears to any soul, entrance is already given. I want us to pray. Can you pray for yourself? And pray for your brother. Can we all hands pray for your brother? And say, Jesus, appear to my brother. Appear to me. Let the open door appear. Let there be an appearance. Let there be an appearance of Jesus. The open door. He said, I am the door. I am the door. If any man enters by me, he will find pasture. Oh, je, 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 je. There is the understanding of the everlasting pasture that Jesus wants to minister. Jesus wants to minister it. Jesus wants to minister it. He wants to minister an open, open door. He wants to minister an open door. Cry to Jesus, appear, let there be an appearance, appear in your ministers, appear in your servants, appear in our parents, Jesus appear, let there be an appearance, let there be an appearance, an appearance that will change the course of my journey. Even in Christianity. Oh, Let every ministration that will be coming forth from this pulpit, let it be the ministration of an appearance. Let it be the ministration of an appearance. Let it be the ministration of an open door. Let it be the ministration of an appearance of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now you see this appearance. Why this appearance is necessary? Why Jesus is why it is necessary for Jesus to appear? Now, when Jesus appears, the, the course of a man is completely altered. There was a man that took a letter from the Sanhedrin and he was going after the believers. He was, they called his name Saul of Tarsus. And as he was going on his way to Damascus, he, he met Jesus. Jesus appeared to him. And after Jesus appeared, Paul's destiny was completely altered. I believe so strongly. I believe so strongly on our parents that destiny wants to be altered in this year's convention. Everyone will live here with everlasting sense. And nothing will be done by the appearance of the man called the everlasting king. In Isaiah, he called Jesus the everlasting father. Now when the everlasting father appears to a man, he will give the man everlasting properties. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. I want us to really labor and pray this prayer. Jesus appear to me. Jesus appear to my brother. Jesus appear to us in Believers Convention. Let this Believers Convention be characterized with your appearance. With your appearance. Shambala gala la tele gede brede balade la te. Oke te 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 te. 
Because of the appearance of Jesus, Paul said, I will not be disobedient to the heavenly vision. To the heavenly vision. Heaven wants to open over us. Heaven wants to open over us. Let there be an appearance. Let there be an appearance. Oh, je, 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 je. Oh, let there be an appearance. Let there be an appearance. Oh, je, 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 Oh, shalagala, brada, balada, late. Oh, le, ge, de, 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 sa. Peter said we were with him on that holy mount. We were with him on that holy mount. When there came such a voice, when there came such a voice, when there came such a voice, we are praying the voice, the voice of Jesus will be strong on this year's convention. In the name of Jesus. Shambhala, gada, late, le, ge, de, 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 de. Oh, je, 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 je. Shebarata, sheberete. Shebarata, shantelege de vrede balade la te. Oh, je, 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 je. Let there be an appearance to the weak, to the feeble, to the weak, to the feeble. Let there be an appearance. Let there be an appearance. Enchelege de lege de se. Everyone would encounter Jesus. Every soul would encounter Jesus. Every soul would encounter Jesus. As our parents will stand ministering, as our pastors will be ministering, they will be ministering appearance. They will be ministering appearance. They will be ministering appearance. They will be ministering Jesus. Oh, che, 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 che. Sambra cataliga roga de vera de la tessia. Thank you, Jesus. Can we pray finally? Can we pray finally? Can we pray finally? Can we pray for a baptism of hunger? A baptism of hunger will fall upon every soul. Everyone present, you know, there is the euphoria of believers' convention. There is the excitement of believers' convention. Some people you've not seen in one year. Some people you've not seen in two years. Now, if we are not cautious of what Jesus wants to do, I can get carried away, gisting my entrance away. I can get carried away, playing away my entrance. But I want us to pray and petition Jesus and ask for the mercy of our God who daily make an intercession for us that everyone will be baptized with hunger. A sense, a sense of appearance will fill every soul in the name of Jesus. That starting from tonight, everyone will be hungry. Everyone will be hungry for the appearance of Jesus. Can we pray finally? Can we pray? Can we pray? We are not praying. We are not praying. Let's not be tired. Let's not be tired. We are not praying. Can we labor more? Let there be hunger. Baptize every soul with hunger. Baptize every soul with hunger. Baptize every soul with hunger. Baptize every one of us with hunger, Jesus. Let there be a baptism of hunger. Starting from tonight. Starting from tonight. To the last day of believers convention. Our soul will be hungry. Our soul will be thirsty. Our soul will be looking for. He said looking for that blessed hope. And the glorious appearing. Of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That every soul. Every soul. Will be parada la telegate brede parada. With a desire to look for. Every soul will be filled. With a desire to look for in the name of Jesus. Can we lift up our hands this evening and give thanks to Jesus? Can we do it with the same zest, with the same passion with which we are prayed? Can we lift up our hands and say, Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for appearance. Thank you for visitation. Thank you for appearance. Thank you for your mercy that you are sending to us. Thank you for appearing to us, Jesus. Oh, we give praise to your name. Thank you, Jesus.
of Jesus Christ I'll wait There is a grace to be brought to us if we hope to the end He will sober and if we guard up the loins of our minds at the revelation of Jesus Christ, we wait. Yes, you are Elohim Adonai. You have come a long way from being just a man. Well, beloved, favored, and true Son of God, merciful and faithful, we want to sing your songs. You are Yeshua. Yeshua, Elohim, Adonai. You have come along. You have come a long way from being just. Well beloved, well beloved, favored and true son of God, merciful and faithful, we want to sing your song, Yeshua.
turning that only mercy can bring a soul through that's the journey we are asking for mercy tonight we want to come close father from sin and death oh closer to incorruption god move me wale merciful high priest you know the infirmities of man. You know the infirmities of souls. Move our way. Bring us close by mercy. 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 High priest, we are praying. Bring us close by mercy. Bring us close by mercy. Bring us close by mercy. High priest, we are praying. Bring us close by mercy. Bring us close by mercy. Bring us close by mercy. High priest, we are praying. Have you not said? The mercy shall be built up forever. God of mercy, you raise the man, this man Jesus. He's been made both Lord and Christ for our sake. And he has entered. His name is Foreigner. He has got into Ile. He has got into Ile. Jesus has got into Ile. He has got into Ile. So he knows how to move me while How to move me while He has got into Ile. He has got into Ile, so he can move me wale. He can move me wale. The way, the truth, the life, the life. He has got into Ile, so he can move me wale. Is he not the King of Glory? Before whom the doors are opened, oh strong and mighty one, you will guard your sword upon your thigh. Before you the gates are open, abundant entrance into Ile. Into Ile. Into Ile. Into your When he got to Ile. Malaysia, and he got to Ile, Ile, oh Ile, oh Ile, oh Ile, oh Ile. Is where you are, and you've gone to prepare a place for us. In my father's house, there are many mansions. You said, I go to prepare a place for you in Nile.
Upon this man will I look The one who trembles at my word With a meek and lowly heart Upon this man will I look Upon this man will I look The heaven is my throne The earth is my footstool But upon this man will I look See the heaven is my throne But the earth is my footstool And I'm yet a father of glory. I will have my offspring. I want to live in my children. Many, many sons. I want to be many, many sons to glory. Hey, I am the day spring from on high. Spring forth many, many children, many, many children, with everlasting righteousness, many, many children. I must spring, spring up, I'm spring, I'm springing, I'm springing. I'll bring, I'll bring life, I'll bring them resources to raise them. I must spring, I must spring, a spring spring, I must spring. Bringing waters, 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 waters of everlasting life upon this man will I love. I will build my house and I will have my rest. I look at you for delay. Iwa la ban lati be la fi orun 
feel my touch and the gates of hell will not prevail against my sons they will be as an arrow in the arms of a mighty man the head of the serpent will still be bruised will still be bruised by the sons I am raising in the end of time for me. They will bruise the head of the serpent. They will bruise his head again, putting him under, because I have chosen to build my church. They will shoot against the foe. They will come against the foe.
to the place they call only 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 wise God only true God oh 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 to the only
what he has proposed to give this man to give this man to give this Father, to appreciate him for yet the beginning of beginnings in a most holy convocation. I've not seen our hands lifted up. Can we also lift our hearts up to the Lord, our hands, our hearts, to say thank you. Thank you for the hours come, for the name of your son to be glorified like never before amongst this company. Thank you for that measurement of your face that you're going to measure out to us. Thank you for hearkening to the intercession of the Son, even concerning this gathering. Thank you for beginning with us. And thank you for you will continue with us in the name of our Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can we put that together for the worship team, please? We can do that better. That was a spontaneous one from the throne of grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, I'd like you to welcome your neighbor, especially to a convention like no other. By the grace of God, there will be no basis, there will be no ground to compare this year's com convention with last year or with other years. Help me tell your neighbor, do you expect an appearing and an appearing like no other? Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, it's a honor to um, quickly appreciate um, some of the dignitaries in the spirit who are seated here. Amen. 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 Okay, yesterday for the first time, not necessarily for the first time, but I came to a conclusion that, you know, God has really, really raised a God lover in our midst. Amen. I want us to put hands together as we appreciate our dear father in the faith and our dear mother in the faith. They are phenomenal. Oh, oh. They are phenomenal God lovers. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you for what you have supplied in the last one year that has seen us gather at this, at this threshold in the spirit. 
Thank you for your tireless labors. Thank you for showing us what it means to love God in the days of our flesh. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, quickly, I just want to also appreciate all other ministers of the gospel who are seated. Please put your hands together with me for our dear daddy in the house, Reverend Busui. All our body and his dear wife. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being seated. Thank you for all the labors at Ondo. Thank you for the beauty you have brought to these uh, labors in the spirit. Amen. And of course, our dear senior pastor and his dear wife, Pastor Meka Eguchuku and his wife. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Amen. And to my left, um, our dear Pastor Timatosi and his dear wife, Pastor Precious. Thank you, ma, for being seated. Thank you for holding that stronghold. Amen. And for all the labors in the spirit. Amen. And of course, our dear Pastor Thompson, Emma, and his wife. Please be thankful for them. Thank you for being seated. Thank you for all the beauty you have brought to the labors upon the house. And of course, our dear Pastor, all the way from Ibadan, Pastor Dimeji Elubadebo, and his dear wife, who is with us in the spirit. We greet you, sir, and ma. Amen. And of course, put that put together for our dear big mommies, mamas in the house, mommy Akinola, mommy Oko, thank you for being seated, mommy Zoge, thank you for being seated, amen, hallelujah, and then we have some who chose not to stream, even though they could stream, they traveled all the way from different countries, please put your hands together with me as we welcome the contingent from London, uh, under pastor, uh, headed by Pastor Kayode. Afolabi, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Pastor Parks and his dear wife. Under the leadership of uh, Dr. Lamikra in London, we also greet thee. Let's greet Dr. Lamikra, please. Daddy, we say you are welcome. Thank you for the good job you are doing in London on our behalf. The Lord will keep it for us all in Jesus' name. I also have our dear pastor who has been with us almost from inception, Pastor Chukchuku. Please put your hands together with me for him. Thank you, sir. And our dear Pastor Clay Kama, please put your hands together with me for him and his dear wife. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma, for being seated. Amen. Of course, we have our dear Pastor Jesh and his dear wife, Pastor Chichi. Thank you for being seated all the way from Poland. Amen. And we have the Canada family represented, you know, in the person of uh, Pastor Jeff Tokura. Thank you for being seated and his dear wife. And we have some of their brethren all the way from Canada. Thank you for being seated. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Of course, we have other ministers of the gospel seated, in, maybe unknown and online. We greet you all. We welcome you in Jesus' name. We also welcome different families across the earth, in America, in Canada, in Austria. You are welcome to Believers Convention 2023. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, uh, there's a reason why this year's convention has been tagged a convention. Yes, amen. Okay, please, uh, if you're a minister of the gospel, please, we'd like you to take your bags and belongings. And Yes, from Kenya, please. Please take your, and Zambia. Please bring your bags and belongings. Let's be thankful for them, please. <laughs> Pastor Sinyangui Sin Wembi. <laughs> That's a tongue. Amen. <laughs> Whitestone. Quickly, please. Thank you, sirs. Thank you, mas. Amen. Okay, maybe they'll join us shortly. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord has blessed us with an expectation. We didn't fabricate it. It's been a long journey for years and decades. Amen. And we are plateauing in a particular pedestal in the spirit that we have never been to. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, let me just read a verse of scripture before I just bring, out, bring up the man of God who will be ministering to us this evening. Uh, from the book of John, chapter 10, from verse 9, it says, I am the door. Pastor Yola was making reference to that scripture. I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in 
and out and find pasture and find pasture. Amen. So by God's grace, um, I like the way God's servant put it, our dear Father in faith, the first in is what brought us into the sanctuary. But there was another in which has seen us not be strangers to most holy pasture. Amen. And that has seen us, you know, journey from pole to pole, from gate to gate. Amen. I like this platform. It's, it's, it signifies something in the spirit. Um, I believe this beautiful stage is sy symbolic of something in the spirit. Amen. We have been journeying to and fro, you know, this axis in the spirit. And the Lord has been preparing us for a particular coming that is unlike what admitted us into his courts and that saw us go in and out. You know, in the words of God's servant, in the course of the preparation for the meeting, you know, you know, go through the north, uh, through the south door and through the north, through the uh, south gate and the north gate. Amen. We have been in the corridors of everlasting life for a while. Amen. And it has been making us more beautiful and more beautiful. Our feet has been polished and it has helped us, you know, to make a lot of progress on this axis. But the sum total of it is to provoke an appearing from the east, from what this stage signifies in the spirit. Amen. Amen. And, of course, every coming is to bring about a particular or a peculiar pasture. Amen. So when you're talking about appearance, appearance, you're talking about different grades of pastures. Hallelujah. That will ultimately provoke the ultimate coming. And of course, we know when he comes from the east, you know, it's not just one coming. There are also many, many comings in that, me in that measure of his quickening, in that order of he is quick coming. Amen. Hallelujah. But I would just like to say one thing before I bring the sound to God up. And that's the fact that we need a heart posture to provoke that coming. And that was what was found in Mary. Can we say Mary? Mary. Our Lord Jesus raised and sent 12 disciples. But somehow, when after resurrection one of who was not an apostle was waiting for the Lord. She wanted to be where the Lord was. And when they came to a sepulchre, we all know the story, but we have not necessarily... We have not, it's, not, it's not everybody. I, I just saw this while I sat there. I, I was asking myself that question. Do I have Mary's heart posture? Because like God someone said, he said it was her heart that held Jesus. The apostles came, they saw napkin, they saw all sorts, and then they left home. They went home. They were satisfied seeing just napkins and what have you that, the, you know, that Jesus left behind, that the angel left behind after Jesus resurrected. But she wasn't satisfied. She wanted to be where her Lord was. In the same words that David used, where have you? she said, where have you, take, where have you taken my Lord? When that, when, that, when, when that angel appeared. Amen. Hallelujah. And then one verse, I think there's a verse there that says, but... But, let's see that as I round up quickly. He said, but Mary stood without at the sepulcher, weeping. And as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the scepter and see her two angels in white sitting and the one at the head and the other at the feet where the body of Jesus had been laid. We all know the rest of the story. But this, this but can be traced to our heart. Amen. Amen. In the same way in Ephesians chapter 2, it says, But God, who is rich in mercy, meaning it was not of him that willeth, it was not of him that runneth, it was of God that sweat mercy. Mary found a mercy, and our Lord Jesus had a cause to say to her, I ascend to your father and my father, to your God and to my God. Why? Mercy prevailed on our behalf. Mercy honored our heart expectation. We have spent one month praying, and even in the last one month, there was a cry, clear call 
for us to keep praying so that we can build an irresistible expectation so that, you, so that there can be an earnestness in our hearts, a longing that can provoke him to come from the east like he hasn't previously come. Amen. Amen. So by God's grace, the Lord has prepared his servants who will be bringing pasture in this measure of, you know, like we read in John chapter 10, you know, after we go in and in, you know, even around the inn, so that some of us can hasten our, you know, our, you know, journey north and south and through different entrances and abundant entrances that the Lord has brought upon the house. So we're trusting God for a quick walk in righteousness. Everyone say a quick walk in righteousness. Satan did it in the life of Judas. In three and a half years, he was raised to be a temple that Satan can dwell in. We have been on this mountain for over three and a half years. Amen. So I can tell you the Lord wants to honor every heart expectation that can be likable to that of Mary. So the question is, do you have it? If you don't have it, you have an opportunity to keep tuning your heart to that, to that disposition. Tuning your heart to be able to you know, have that earnestness, that, 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 that weight. And the Lord will honor us as we do so in Jesus' name. It's my honor and my pleasure and my privilege to bring forth one of God's servants who the Lord has helped, who the Lord has graced, who the Lord has prepared for Believers Convention 2023, all the way from Ilorin. Please put your hands together with me for our dear pastor, the senior pastor of Lighthouse Apostolic Center, Pastor Tima Tosi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we give Jesus a great praise? Hallelujah. Can we shout a powerful hallelujah? How many of us are glad to be in this year's convention? How many of us are expectant? How many of us are trusting God for a great visitation? Can we shout a very powerful hallelujah? hallelujah. Why not lift up our hands to Jesus and just, and just tell him we are anticipating. We are anticipating. We have great expectation. We want to see you. We want to see you, son of God. We want to see you, son of God. We have great expectation. Great anticipation. We want to see you. Uh, is it possible to make it a personal call to the Lord and say, I want to see you in this year's Believers Convention. Jesus, I want to see you. I must not go the same way I came. I want to see you. Lord Jesus, our eyes are on you. We want to see you. We are crying out. We are calling out. We want to see you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, is our, is our great call today. That it will please you, O oh God, to send your son to us again. Send Jesus to us. Send Jesus to us. Oh, Father, let it please you to send Jesus to us in this year's convention. Father, send your son to us. Father, we are praying for great encounter with your son. Great encounter with your son. Father, we are asking for a great encounter with your son. That every heart we see your son, Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the ministration of your spirit. We thank you for the ministration of your spirit. 
We thank you, Father. We give you all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Can we shout a big amen? Uh, I want to welcome every one of us. I know we have been welcomed, but it's not too much to welcome us again to Believers Convention 2023, a much anticipated convention for a great visitation of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. O Shefa Pona Retes El Tosa Pevone Casen Pevon Asen Livase Pevon. May no Zagesona Frati so Vastes Amete Pass and Evas the Heaven no Sabi so Festim Heaven. Many jo pago vestio sente fali moste fiane pasen foste be sent from heaven. Many baro pavu no ste plevini on a son sio saint in heaven. E tishko baste fastios in heaven. My cosefli prostefistios as heaven. Pai dio sento sescopia sten so fest heaven. For there is great victory even in your heavens. There is great victory even in your heavens. Even in in your heavens, even in your heavens, even in your heavens, for an entourage, even an entourage from higher heavens is coming down, is coming down to your heavens, even to invade your heavens, even to decongest your heavens, and prepare your heavens for he who you are expecting, for he who you are expecting, for him whom you are expecting, for you are expecting. Even a great one, even the great one to descend even to your heavens. And he has sent an entourage, even to clear the way, even to clear the way. Valleys have been exalted. Mountains and hills have been made low. Crooked ways have been made straight. Rough edges have been made plain. And the glory of the Lord, even the glory of God, is to be revealed in your heavens. So let rejoicing fill your heart and let expectation come upon you. Expectation for he that will come, will come. He that is to come, intends to come. He has moved your heavens. If to prepare a way for his coming, prepare your heart also. Prepare your heart also. Prepare your heart also for the Father's good pleasure is for him to come. 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 I have heard your cry. I have heard your cry. I respond to your cry. I am coming. I am coming. I am coming. Look up in your heart. Look up in your heart. See into the heavens and behold my coming. Behold my coming. Behold my coming. I come. I come. Say as the head of the church. Lord, we receive you. We receive you. We receive you. Thank you, our Lord. Lord, I, I recognize and acknowledge the authority you have set over this house. Lord, I come under the authority you have set. Lord Jesus, help me to be faithful. In bringing your word, help me to be faithful, Lord. Thank you, our Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, I want to appreciate God's servant and God's handmaiden, our daddy and our mommy in the Lord. Uh, please, can you help me appreciate them once again? Let's appreciate them for, thank you, sir and ma, for where you stand. And thank you for your great love for the Lord. 
And we appreciate you, and I appreciate you, sir and ma, uh, because of want of time. I want to appreciate God's servant and uh, God's handmaiden, uh, Reverend Busi Olabode and Mommy Binkley. Thank you, sir, for being seated. Thank you, ma, for being seated. I want to appreciate Pastor Emeka, our senior pastor, and Mommy Lilian. Thank you, sir, for being seated. Thank you, ma. <laughs> I want to appreciate Pastor Thompson and Hima, and Pastor Dupe and Hima. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Pastor Dimeji. Thank you, sir. All the ministers in the house, please just permit me because of time. I will not be able to mention our names. But please, can you help me appreciate all the ministers in the house, all the pastors that are laboring, feeding the flock. I appreciate you, sir, and mass. All our mommies, please let's appreciate our mommies. Thank you, mass, for being seated. Mommy Oko, Mommy, uh, mommy Akinola, Mommy Zoge, every other mommy, I appreciate you, mass. Praise God. Uh, I also want to appreciate my wife for being seated. Thank you, Ma. God bless you. I love you so much. Amen. You know, uh, I don't, I'm trusting God for her, but the tongues have come because I believe this is very, uh, I, 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 it's, it is, uh, you know, Moses says a dreadful thing to, to stand before the Lord. <laughs> so it's not, it's not a familiar ground. We are trusting the Lord for a great uh, visitation in this convention, and we have prayed, and he has heard us. Amen. And I want every one of us to, you know, uh, as the word of the Lord has come to us, let's prepare our hearts sufficiently because I'm strongly believing, and I believe that we are going to have significant en encounters in this year's convention. Amen. We have been having encounters before, but this is going to be a remarkable encounters. For every one of us who is looking up to the Lord. And we have traveled from different places. You know, we have traveled kilometers, hundreds of kilometers. We have flown from different places. We are not here to mark register. We are here to have encounter with the Lord. We must not go back without encounter with the Lord. We must not go back. You know, part of the teachings, emphasis that came during the prayers is that if anyone entered through a, a gate, he must not go back through that gate. It is a forbidden law of the temple. You have to go out through another gate to, to let us know you must not remain the same. That is the law of the temple. You must not come and remain the same. You must not go with the same face. Our faces will change. As God will change our natures. In this year's Believers Convention, God himself is willing to change us. More than we ourselves are desiring to be changed. He himself wants to change us and he will do the work in the name of Jesus. Uh, what uh, is impressed upon my heart, you know, like I said, it's not an easy task to do. We just have to lean on the grace of God. What is impressed upon my heart? Kick, 
Amana gana my bring faces. Mana mana bring my faces. Magaria my face. Magano my faces. Amanta my faces. My faces. My faces. To make you see my faces. To introduce you to my faces. My many faces. My faces. Even the faces of my presence. Even my presence for you. Yeah, change. 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 I bring faces. Faces for changes. Changes. Faces for change. As you behold. So behold the glory. Behold the glory. Behold even the glory of my face. For there is a glory even in my appearance. In my appearance. I appear. I bring faces. I bring faces. I bring faces. Glory. Glory of my presence. Of my presence. Amen. Uh, the, like I said, there was uh, an impression upon my heart. You know, uh, today I I wasn't aware that <laughs> I would be coming up, but there was an impression upon my heart, and that is the burden I also perceive. You know, during the prayers that our that day has labored on, you know, things that pertain to the Lord's coming. You know, if we, if we follow the prayers significantly, we will notice that what was significant in the emphasis during the prayer meetings is the burden of the lost coming. Because uh, what the church, the church does not have any business on earth. If the church cannot look for his coming, you know, the main business of the church on earth is to look for his coming, is to call for his coming, is to engage for his coming. So uh, the Lord impressed this upon my heart and that is, you know, in, to prepare our heart for the convention this year because uh, there must be, you know, like the, maybe the songs or oh, Pastor Tayo was saying that our heart must call for his coming. You know, the Bible said the spirit and the bride say come. You know, there must be this engagement for the coming of the Lord. The Lord himself wants to come. Hallelujah. The Lord wants to come. There was an experience I had maybe some years back. I was just waiting on the Lord and trusting him just in fellowship. Then he said something to me that was very, very crucial. I can never forget. That should be about maybe 12 years ago. He said, when I return, that some people will be ready. He said, but not everybody will be ready, but some people will be ready. He said, when I return, some people will be ready for my return. So uh, that time, I always feel that we still have a long time because, you know, in the church, maybe we're not so serious then. But he said, don't look at it like that way. By the time I return, a people will be ready for my return. Hallelujah. So it's to say that the Lord himself is longing to return. The Lord Jesus wants to return. As a matter of fact, the father wants his son to return. At the same time, the church must partner with him in bringing him back. Hallelujah. So there's this burden in the atmosphere and there's this burden in the air about the lost return. You know, so something struck my heart, like I said, is on the vision and the burden of the lost return. You know, everybody... All of us who came from this convention must have that at heart. The reason why we have come is to encounter him. The reason why we have come is to engage him. But ultimately, the reason why we have come is to prepare for his coming. You know, the, the book of Hebrews chapter 10, he was writing today and was saying that if that we come, we come. Hallelujah. Let's see that scripture. He said, He that we come, we come. He said, For yet a little while, and he that shall come, we come, and we not tarry. So there is he that shall come. And the Bible says, He will come. You know, I, I, I strongly believe that one of the things God will use this convention to do 
this year, not just for us who are here, but for the body of Christ, is to call the body to the attention and the awareness that the Lord is coming back. There is possibility that the mindset and the heart of receiving the Lord back may not be very strong in our hearts. We have different things that we are expecting God to do against his coming. Uh, there was a time we were together and we were talking and then, you know, I was surprised. Somebody just said, by the way, that Jesus Christ will come next year. I'm not saying, no, that was then, a long time ago. And the, the, the brothers that, were, that I saw then as very committed brothers, very committed brothers, I was surprised. He just stood up and said, Jesus will not come next year, oh, I want to marry That was said. It really shocked me. Because I was thinking that those, those are the people that we, we were following as per spiritual things. So he had something in mind. And that I must marry before Jesus Christ comes. He, said, he even said, even if it is during my honeymoon, he comes, I don't mind, but Jesus should not come until. So I'm wondering what will be in other people's mind. We were, we were on campus there. So what of somebody that is doing his graduation next week? Someone that is doing his graduation next year? So we all have reasons within our heart. What we are trusting God for, we are trusting God for it, but we are telling, don't bring Jesus, let's do this for us. And if that continues every generation, Jesus Christ will never come. Because all of us have one thing or the other we are trusting God for to do. There's somebody who is building his house and he wants to do house woman next year. And there's a prayer that says, Jesus Christ is coming by December. You know, let Jesus Christ come after the, I mean, let me sleep two weeks, two days inside, then Jesus Christ can come. So it's to let us know that the enemy has done a terrible job. He's making us forgetting home. So this place has become home for us. We have never thought of him taking us home. We should not forget, he said, I go to prepare a place for you. Hallelujah. Can we say hey, amen? I'm trusting God for help. Can we say hey, amen? So what I'm saying is that the Lord wants to use this meeting to open our heart. To redirect our heart. To redirect our focus. To redirect our cry. To redirect our passion. To redirect our labor. Because sometimes we may be laboring wrongly. We can say Jesus is coming, but more no labor for that coming. Can we say hey, amen? Can we shout hey, amen? So, you know, John chapter 14. Can we say hey, amen? The Lord will help me. Hey, amen. He said, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. This is the word, I will come again. And not just come again, what do I, I will receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. There is a place he is now. When he says where I am, there is a state he is. There is a state Jesus is. And he says he wants to receive us unto himself. So that where he is, we can be there. Can we say hey, amen? But he said he can't receive us without coming. He said I will come again. Hallelujah. So it's not... There is no receiving us without it coming again. He has to come again first, then receive us unto himself. So that where he is, we can be. Can we say amen? So the issue is very clear, like I said, that the Lord wants to come. Like, you know, during the prayer meeting, you know, one of the strong words that came, is I, I was watching. Actually, I thought that was the, the, that was the team that day. You know, I was thinking so because 
Daddy just said the great, the great tiding is Maranatha. So I was, I was saying, okay, maybe the final day he will just say the team is Maranatha. I was already positioning myself. I told my wife today we are going to hear the team. But you know, I believe the Lord is teaching us a wisdom that we should be able to gather his thoughts from all the emphasis of the prayer meeting. I'm not saying it's, it's, it's not wrong to have a team. But at the same time, the Lord is training his children in wisdom. That out of, okay, if we are to say, all the things Jesus taught in the book of John, what is the thing? I'm not saying, please, we will always have team. That's the way he came this year. And he came this year to let us know whether we are wise enough to pick his heart. That of all that I've said, what can you deduce as the burden of my heart? Because Jesus Christ has a great body. He has a great body. Jesus has a high body. And the greatest of his body is that he wants to come back. Jesus wants to come back. Hallelujah. Please tell us say Jesus Christ wants to come back. No, we are not saying it, please. I want us to say it. We don't. How many of you know that all our gathering is for the essence of his coming? Every labor that has been coming, that will still come, is to make us adequately prepared for his coming. For example, in this meeting now, it's going to come. We are not shouting a big amen. Yeah. There will be many appearances in this convention. Yeah. I know that because I had that experience. I had that experience that there will be appearances. That there will be engagements. That in this year's convention, art we engage the Lord. In this year's convention, just, just prepare yourself. It will come to you. I said, we are going to see the Lord. When we're praying, I told my wife, I said that we should pray for encounter again. I said, I remember year 2015. In this same believers convention, I had an encounter with the Lord. I encountered the Lord 2015. Not that I became born again. I was already a pastor. But that encounter brought a shift to my work. It brought a significant shift to my life. And I believe that encounter, God built many other encounters upon them to keep me in the path. I'm praying that this year convention, every one of us will encounter the Lord Jesus Christ. I said we are not going to miss that en encounter. You know, sometimes... People, by what they do, by many encumbrances, they miss encounters. But I say, every one of us, as he, as he appears to, you know, the Father, it has pleased the Father that the, the Son should appear to us. It has pleased the Father that the Son should appear to us. God's servant said one time, he said that, there is no appearance of Jesus to anyone without the Father's approval. He said before the Lord can engage you on the light, the Father must have has approved it. So it means that all of us that are seated there and everyone who is streaming, because I believe there's a body for the body of Christ this year. This convention is reaching to the body this year. Can we say hey, amen? amen? I was told that, that this year, the body, this this platform will reach more in the body this year. I was told that, that this year, this platform. So I'm, I'm mindful of many who are streaming this meeting. I am mindful of those who have never heard any message about everlasting last streaming this meeting. But the Lord is going to reach you wherever you are. Even in your bedroom, you will encounter Jesus. Has not done it before? When he resurrected from the dead, the Bible says Jesus appeared to 500, 500 at the same time. 500 people saw him in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, if I'm right, sir. He said, we were seen of 500. After that, he was seen of above 500 brethren at once. When I say, at, they, they were no, 500 were not gathering in one place. The Lord himself was in 500 places at the same time. Not that 500, there was never any congregation of 500. 
When he died and resurrected, everybody scattered. It was only twelve that were in one place locking themselves up. But when he resurrected, he appeared to 500 at the same time. So he must have appeared to this person, appeared to that person. So he could be in different places. So it means the 500 are in the list that the father gave him. The father must have given Jesus 500 names. Because the son does nothing except what he sees the father do. So it's not out of personal affiliation. It was the father's writing. This, this, these are the list of people you must appear to. And he appeared to them. He appeared to 500. So I'm clear in my heart that your name is in the list that we appear to. How many of you are expressing Jesus in this convention? Come on, shout a big amen. Somebody's already praying, Lord, let my name be in the list. Your name is there. Because the father wants the son to appear. The father wants the son to appear. The father wants the son to encounter hearts. Can we shout, Amen? Amen. But then the question is when he appears, what will you do with the appearance? Because he appeared to 500 at the same time. 500 sir, at the same time. What did they do with the appearance? I don't know if you have ever thought about it before. I was expecting the 500 to be in the upper room. I was expecting 500 to be in the upper room. But out of the 500, only 120 that responded. So I mean 380 went there to their businesses. What a great opportunity. What a great privilege to see Jesus first time in a resurrected body. To see the resurrected Lord. And then he gave commandment. Go and wait for me at the upper room. But 380 had all that things they had in mind to do. I'm saying after he has appeared to us. Because it will not be a difficult thing for Jesus to appear to us. There will be many appearances in this meeting. Can we say hey, amen? I'm sure of that. I'm sure that every ministration is bringing appearance. Somebody is not say hey, amen. Yeah. Every ministration of the world, if, if, including exhortation, they are bringing appearances. In fact, I was instructed, but I can share with you my own instruction that I should not miss even when Praises are going on. That is to say, during praise session or worship session, there will be appearances. There will be a, so don't don't stay in your room saying, "Well, world has not started," because it's a procession in the spirit. You don't know when the Father has said that they should appear to you. You cannot determine that time. You can't determine it. Isaiah was in a praise procession, I believe. Not in a word session. Because he saw the train. I see the Lord. And his train filled the temple. And then, what, Seraphim were talking to one another. It was Seraphim praise session, I believe. One was saying to another. They were not talking to Isaiah. And one cried unto another. They didn't say, they didn't, no, one was not crying to Isaiah. They were crying, it's like, interaction on praise level of the revelation of God. Then Isaiah was in that praise session. One cry, only, only, only the Lord of hosts and the whole earth is full of his glory. Let's say the next one. And one of, and what did he say? And one cried unto another. Okay, next one. And what did he say? And the post of the door moved in the voice of the, of that cry, of one that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. And then what happened? Then said I, Woe is me. I am undone. What again? I am a man of unclean. So it means that this is an appearance. Hope you know. Because every appearance will judge corruption in you. This is a man that has been given word. This is a man, chapter 5. Woe. He was a prophet of woe. He gave woe. Woe to them that are called good evil. Go, woe, woe, woe. 
But when a counter will come, because I believe sometimes we can be judging others and not paying attention to ourselves. But when appearance occurred, he didn't say, well, hey, now I have said it. I have said it. With this experience, man, you can now see, only is the Lord. No. The encounter was for him. Whoa, it's me. So he has never seen himself being a woman. Whoa, it's me. I am undone. Undone means that me, Gina, I'm not well cooked. And I dwell in the midst of unclean people. What did he say? And now my eyes are seen. The king, the Lord of us. I pray in this convention. May our eyes see the Lord. I am praying. You see, I'm warming our heart because I know things will drop. As I sat on there, I saw it. Everything's are dropping. This convention. Everything. When I say every duty encounters. Every duty revelations. I'm not even talking about maybe highly technical teachings. There will be teachings. But I'm talking about something you have. It's a word you have been hearing before. There may be something you have heard before. Some of us say we have had everlasting life before. But the everlasting life is coming to our hearts now. Can we say amen? amen? Jesus said to that church, he said, I am knocking at the door. If anyone hears my voice and open the door, I will come in and sup with him and eat with me. So I'm seeing Jesus coming in this year to sup with many of us. I wish I had a big amen. Let's shout a big amen. amen. I don't know, maybe am I staring our hearts? I'm only saying we should prepare. We should prepare. Some might not have prepared before coming. Sometimes the excitement of coming for believers' convention can be more than our preparation. And I'm not saying that we should not do JPEG. You know, like in Lori, I want people a lot. I'm not saying, please, I'm not a. I'm not an SU pastor, please. I'm not. That's what I'm saying. I'm only saying you must know what you are doing. Every session, you're not know, be JPEGing life in believers convention, life in believer. You know, I'm not saying you should not do that. But if that not become what you are looking forward to, then you can miss encounter because encounter will come to those who are desperate. Can we shout a big amen? amen. Please let's shout a big amen. amen. So that being said, let me use the remaining time to do something a little more. But I'm just saying, I still feel in my heart that heart should be desperate. I feel in my heart, you know, as I want to enter, I still feel strongly that heart must be desperate. Everyone who is streaming online that is not here physically, please be desperate. Be desperate in your heart. Even if this is your first time of connecting with Believers Convention, be desperate in your heart. And let your desperation be, I want to see the Lord in this convention. As I'm streaming this meeting, I want to encounter the Lord. I want to encounter the Lord. I want to encounter the Lord. There are encounters that can be life-changing encounters. I've had ministers of the gospel who had life-changing encounters. I've had ministers of the gospel who went to, who went to Rema Bible College and had encounter. Another 40 years, they are still talking about it. So it seemed to me that what kept them going was the encounter they had that God, they now started building upon. What this generation needs more. When I say encounter, I'm not talking about maybe you having a vision alone. I'm talking about entrance to the word of God. The Bible says entrance to his word gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. May we have encounter in this year's convention. I didn't know, sincerely, I didn't know that maybe I was going to come up to do this charge. But when I was in the room coming downstairs to this evening, coming to this hall, it was clear in my heart that some may have to spend this night to pray. 
I didn't even know that I will come up like that. Some we have to spend this night. When I say this night, after this meeting and we have eaten, still pray. Pray. Wait on him and say, Lord, Lord, I've been hearing about appearances. I also, I want you to appear to me. Please, I don't know if you get my heart. Hallelujah. Can we say amen? amen? Let's shout amen. amen. So, like I said, that the body that was impressed on my heart is on the vision and the body of the Lord's coming. There's a vision of the Lord's coming. And there's a body of the Lord's coming. Everything that the prophets in the Old Testament were talking about Basically, he is dovetailing to the Lord's coming. Of course, we could see that they talk about his physical coming first of all. They prophesy his coming first of all. Hallelujah. Can we say hey, amen? They prophesy the Lord's, when I say the Lord's coming, the Lord's physical appearance. That the Messiah will appear. But actually, what they prophesy so strongly is the matter of his coming. When they say coming, his appearances and his final appearance. That was what they were prophesying. For example, when we look at the book of, let's see, please, let's open our Bible, please. I want us to see the book of 1 Peter chapter 1. Because the Lord impressed upon my heart. And I believe strongly that those are the things the Lord will open strongly upon this meeting this year. Can we say hey, amen? That the matter of the Lord's coming, the matter of the Lord's coming, is the matter of the end. The matter of the Lord's coming is the matter of the end. Can we say what I just said? Is the matter of the end. Please say it one more time. Can we say hey, amen? And the matter of the end. What we say matter of the end. There are many things carnally we believe are the matter of the end. We have seen them, but the end had never come. We have seen many things in the end that we always assume that is the end. We have seen wars. We have seen wars. When Ukraine and Russia were fighting, everybody said, I, I read people say the end will come last year. I think they started that war last year. Is it last year or this year? Last year. Oh, that's 2021. 2022. This is 2022. Last year. Last year, January. That was when they started the thing. Then, you can see in different places that that, will, that was the end. That, that that war will lead to world war and then the Antichrist. Many things were said. But now, that world is already gradually going down. Maybe Nigeria and Niger again fight. Then somebody will say, the end. In the end, we stand in. No, that is not the end. The matter of the end is the program of God concerning the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Unless Jesus appears, there can never be an end. I don't know, maybe I'm, you are getting me. Can we say amen? So, the matter of the end, can we say amen? I said the matter of the Lord's coming is the matter of the end. And the matter of the end, they are in salvation and eternal glory. The matter of the head. The matter of the head. The matter of the lost coming or the burden of the lost coming is in salvation and eternal glory. So let's see what First Peter says. I don't know. Are you still with me, please? I don't know. I hope I've not lost any one of us. Let's see First Peter chapter 1, verse 5. First Peter 1, 5. You know, I said the matter, that, these are the things that were impressed upon my heart. And I thank God that 
I'm just giving a charge and for on me. I know many other ministrations will come. Can we say hey, amen? But when we say matter of the end, so a believer engaging for the end, a believer who is engaging for the end is a believer engaging in salvation. You cannot remove salvation and talk about the end. I don't know if you are getting me. Do we, please, are we getting me, please? First Peter chapter 1, verse 5. Let's see what it says. He said, I just, you know, I just want to paraphrase that. He said, uh, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed. When? I want to fill us, please. So, you know, when he said last time, you cannot talk about the end and not talk about the last time. So, it means there is a, the end is dovetailing to the last time. And what will be revealed in the last time is salvation. Salvation ready. I know the word ready. It means that that salvation is already ready, but it will be revealed at the last time. Are you getting me, please? So it means, you know, I said the matter of the hand is in salvation and eternal glory. I don't want you to forget what I'm saying, please. Can I continue? Can we say hey, amen? Then, when you look at 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 1. So, you know, we read 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 5. Then, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 1. Let's see, please. You know, Peter was writing as an elder. He said, the elder which are among you, I exhort, who am also an elder, and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Don't forget, in 1st chapter 1 verse 5, you talk about salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. I don't know if you are getting me, please. Then, chapter 5 verse 1, you talk about glory that shall be revealed. It means, as at that time, he was actually bringing forth the understanding of the head. And that the things that will be revealed in the end are things of salvation and things of glory. Can we say hey, amen? Please, are you getting what I'm trying to say? Are you all with me, please? So, unless salvation, unless salvation is brought to the fore, in the body. Then it means that the body is not yet getting ready for the hand. I have been born again by the grace of God for, by the mercy of Jesus Christ, you know, for more than 30 years. And I remember that my own new, my being born again, I was born into Jesus' was coming soon. Not now that you are born again to make it. We were born again to be rapturable. Our letters then is remain rapturable. Our letters then. You can't write remain making it. I'm not saying it's wrong to make it. But we didn't even think there's anything called making it. Because we believe that maybe tomorrow Jesus will appear. Remain rapturable. In fact, we wrote it to the point that it became our dream. I dreamt it too. I dreamt, all of us dreamt it. If you were born again then, you won't dream riding jets. You must dream that you are raptured. Or if you are not raptured, you wake up second and you search your life. What have I done wrong? Oh Lord. What? Because you see your brother that was raptured and you didn't go. But today you see your brother in G but you are in, the, you are in Islander. Please don't be angry with me. I'm only saying that things changed. I, that time, we didn't have any luxury of time. We, people sold mattresses to buy mats because of great commitment to the lost coming. Mattresses. I'm not saying you should go and please sell your mat and buy mattress now. I'm only saying that because we want to inconvenience ourselves. Just to make ourselves ready. Can we say hey, amen? But after a while, those things began to grow gradually. Changes started coming. Why? Because the real matter of the end was not yet in view. It was not yet revealed. I don't know if you are getting me. Until salvation is brought open, that's why we can be talking about the end. 
Hallelujah. 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 20 minutes. Hallelujah. Are we all getting it, please? I said, what we make hand become very real. What we make hand come to us is when the issue of salvation. So we have an indication that we are moving to the hand when the Lord opened the light of everlasting life to the church. The opening of the everlasting life light is to let us know that we are in moving to the last time. Hallelujah. Satan can overrun anything that makes people to say they are preparing for the end. Let me give you an instance. And I know, I know many in the body may be hearing this thing. And there, there can be witnesses in the heart that what I'm saying is true. Especially for us who have been born again for some times in the past. That messages have changed over time. I've seen ministers then who were preaching every rap- I mean, eschatology of rapture. Rapture, rapture now. Over 20 years, I saw the apostle because people were not interested again. If you have been born again, not recently, you will understand what I'm saying. Then our flyers were remain rapturable. Then it evolved to Jesus is Lord. After a while. Then the flyer now is evolving to Jesus the miracle worker. Why? Because emphasis changed because the issue of salvation has not been open to the body. There's something that cannot overtake. When salvation is open, the end has come. You are not getting me, please. So every one of us who is seated here, who has been listening to the message of everlasting life for the past few years, or who have been listening this year, or who is listening now, or who will receive the message during this convention, is preparation. Is your preparation and engagement for the end. Hallelujah. I don't know if this exhortation is meeting us well. Just please permit me. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Amen. I say, if you are here in everlasting life, I don't know. Can I? Is it? Sorry, I forgot. Amen. Our, can we, let me tell you, say, everlasting life message. No, 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 no. Do, please do the work of an evangelist tonight. Say, everlasting life message is your preparation for the end. Say, this the message of everlasting life that is bringing the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ to you is to make you ready in the end. Can we say a big amen? amen. You know, uh, part of my encounter or my experience for this meeting is what I'm trying to say. Amen. Can we say amen? You know, the Lord was, the Lord was ministering to my heart. I believe ministering to my heart and making me to see that the our be ready for his final appearing because there is the final appearing. Deepen it up. Can we say hey, amen? I must say appearances. Please, let's see what I'm going to say, please. Open your Bible, please. I just want us to see this. I know I still have little time to do that. The Lord is moving my heart in a direction. I may not be perfect at it, but I trust the Lord for help. Hey, amen. Let's see what Jesus told Paul. In Acts chapter 26, verse, I think verse 8, verse, uh, verse, 12, verse 18. Okay, thank you so much. That is, I don't know, maybe I can come down a bit, sir. Thank you, sir. Because I want to see the screen a bit. Amen. Hallelujah. And I said, who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecuted. But rise and stand upon thy feet. For I have appeared unto you. I don't know if you are saying it. I have appeared unto thee for this purpose. To make thee a minister and a witness. 
of all things which thou hast seen. Please, what, can we read the next one? And those things in the which I will appear unto thee. So it means that he had appeared to him. And the manner of the appearing was not seeing Jesus in the flesh. Paul saw Jesus in the spirit. So Jesus appeared to Paul. That appearance never left Paul's mind. Even years after, he was still narrating as though it was yesterday. This is part of the experience. And he was saying, I am not disobedient to heavenly vision. So heavenly vision was actually appearances. Maybe you are getting a place. Heavenly vision is not necessarily maybe when the Lord calls us to the work of ministry. But that can be part of it. Heavenly vision is our entrance into fellowship of appearances. So Jesus appeared to him and he said, I will appear to you again. And the Lord was appearing to Paul in light and understanding. Are you with me, please? Please, are you with me? Everybody say in light and understanding. The Lord was appearing to him, appearing to him, appearing to him. By the time Paul got to 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 10, he was bringing forth something very significant. And he said, let's see verse 10, verse 9. Amen. Wow. Hallelujah. Are we all blessed, please? Hope I've not confused anybody in any way. Thank you so much. He said, Who had saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. Come on, look at the next one. But it's now, not, please, not, not will. It didn't say, but will be made manifest. But he said, is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who has abolished death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. So as at this place, there have been many appearances. Hallelujah. Appearances of our Lord Jesus Christ that brought to light life and immortality. Not through visions, but through the gospel. So it means what brings appearances are the gospel. Please say what I just said to somebody. Yes, so the gospel is the channel through which appearances come. So here, they have had appearances of life and immortality. I will be slow here for a purpose because I know, like I said, many are listening. I was told that, sorry, sorry to say that. See, this life and immortality, God suffered our father labored on it last month. Or last two months in, a, in another convention in the north. And he made us to know that this life, he said this immortality, he said we should check it. And we checked it. He said this immortality is actually in corruption. So I'm referring to what you taught us, sir, because that was, that was very significant for me. It was very eye-opening for me. That this life, that this life and immortality, that immortality here is in corruption. That so appearances have brought life and then it has brought in corruption to light. Amen. So Paul said it here, but when Paul was about to go, when Paul was writing his last heart to Timothy, is this, this thing that Paul wrote, they are all his is life is father to some conversation, but he now said, Paul Timothy, I have finished my course, I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Then now said, Henceforth, there's laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge shall give me a that day. Please, I, don't want, I want us to see that. There is something called that day. Paul was telling Timothy that. Paul had had encounter and appearances. And by the using of the appearances, 
He fought a good fight. He finished his course. See, this course, when you, I, 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 was, I was instructed to read it in, an, in another version. I don't read all versions because some water down things. But I was told to read. I read it there. He said, I have finished the race. That course there is not finishing ministry. <laughs> Please, let's not mistake this thing. When he said, I have finished my course. It's not, I have finished the ministry. Because when he was talking to the elders in Ephesus, he told them, he said, none of these things move me. But that I may finish my course with joy. Come on. Let's read it. I hope you are still with me, please. Please give it to me. That should be Acts chapter 20. Thank you so much. But none of these things move me. Neither can't I my life bear unto myself. So that I might finish my course with joy. You see what? Comma there. Comma means that that's one thing. Then and the ministry. So they are not the same thing. There is the course, there's the ministry. I don't know, are you getting me, please? A man can finish his ministry and not finish his course. So he said, I have finished. So when he said, that I might finish my course with joy. That course is what he was telling them in Philippians chapter 3. When he was saying, this thing, one thing I do. Forgetting the things that are behind. I press on. I keep pressing on. I press on. Hallelujah. I press forward onto those that are before. I press towards the mark of the price. Please, sir. When he said, Mark, I don't want to rush this thought. When he said, Mark, he didn't say, I am pressing for the price. What he saying is that once I hit the mark, I will get the price. Hit the mark and get the price. I am pressing for the mark of the price of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. So when he was writing to Timothy, he said, I have finished the race. I finished this race. I have finished the course. And by finishing, I already have the crown of righteousness. Hallelujah. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, Shall give, shall I want to? I love you. See the word? I want is the price. I want to be. So it means Paul hit the mark. Hallelujah. May the Lord help us to hit this mark. And that's what the convention is meant to do. The experience I had that the convention we so equip men that in the days of our flesh we will hit this mark. I thought we say a big amen. You know, say, the Lord will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. So it means that there's still an appearing called appearing of that day. I don't know if you are getting me, please. Well, I thank God. Our, my father is here. The elders are here. They will help us expand. But I, I want us to see what I'm trying to say. So it means that there is that day. The appearances are to prepare us sufficiently for that day. There is a day that God will give crown of righteousness to everyone that has finished the race. So sometimes the Lord began to make me see that don't just live your life anyhow. Go to heaven and wait for crown of righteousness. That that is not the way it is. You must use your life on it. The days of your flesh. To run the race and finish the race. Sir, hallelujah. When Paul said, I have fought the good fight. Many people say this thing on their death, death side. It's when they are done, they say, I have fought. No, when Paul wrote this, he still lived for another maybe one or two years. So a man living in the body has already finished. When he wrote this letter, he still lived for some time before they eventually killed him. So he, 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 has, he has already finished. Pastor, I don't know, maybe I've seen my heart. Paul has already finished the race. 
So he was living after that time, yet he has finished the race. So it means Paul attained to a state. He entered a state of life which Enoch is a, Enoch, Enoch is a witness to. I don't want to rush this stuff. Lord help me. Sir, so forgive me. Sir. I'm not rushing, sir. Forgive me. Amen. Let's see what I'm trying to say. This convention is for this purpose. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. But look, you see, they put colon there, colon. But for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. So it means Enoch entered the state. And when they left him there for a while, maybe for another 50 years, he was just working in a state of pleasure. You don't get, God didn't just take Enoch away like that. Enoch had a witness. He had a witness that he pleased God. He had a testimony. So God was showcasing Enoch to people. Not to people, even to angels. They were saying that Enoch was worthy of translation. So it's possible in the days of our flesh, when God establishes us in everlasting life light, and we live and abide in it, we can live for 30 years and we have entered in corruption. If I'm not getting it. God will not be too quick to take people away. God will use them as a witness. Against that day, with the righteous church. So, what we should have at heart, what the Lord put in my heart, sir, I'm just, I pray that the Lord will help me, is that we should prepare for that day. We have to. When I say that day, it's not a day we die. There is a day God has ordained in the spirit. Some have died. Some will be living. And when I say day, I'm not talking about one worst day. It's a season when God will trigger a phase of reward. Everybody shall reward. I'm saying that to make us see the weight and the importance of everlasting life in the days of our flesh. I will get to what I'm saying. What will bring a man to a state of saying he pleased God? Or Paul say, I have finished my course and he still lived for about one year or more. I went to check, it's not immediately he died. He still lived for some time. But he has entered the state of life. That in that state of life, it was evident you already have a crown. Paul knew he had a crown. He was not fitting, I have a crown. He must have seen, I have a crown. And they said the crown is not for me only, but for everyone. So it means this life I live is a life every person must live. It's not Paul's cause. It is the race they have set for every believer. But that Paul, as an example and a model of a disciple, entered into. Let's say hey, amen. Amen, amen, amen. I hope I'm not rushing us, please. Forgive me. I just want to be orderly. Can we say hey, amen? So when it, everybody say righteous judge. This, I just, everybody shall righteous judge. So the righteous judge is what Romans chapter 2 was weaving to us. Let's see Romans chapter 2 from verse 5. As I begin to wrap up this thought. I don't know. The Lord will help me. I believe he has saved me. But I believe... I don't know, maybe I prepared us away a bit for this convention. Can we say, hey, amen? He said, but after thy hardness and impertinent heart, treasured up unto thyself, wrought against the day of wrath, and revelation, you see the word, of the righteous judgment of God. So, Paul was saying, when he said the righteous judge, that means that there is a time the righteous judgment of God will be on earth, upon every man. Then look at verse 6. He said, who will render to every man according to his deeds? 
Hallelujah. To them who by patient continuance in well doing seek for glory, honor, and immortality, eternal life. So, what you know, I went for simplicity of English. I went to read. He said that he will give eternal life to those who through patience continuance in well doing seek for glory, honor, and immortality. So, it means that day is the day of granted eternal life. But to them, who through patience continuance in well doing. So, no, hallelujah. Let's say amen. amen. I don't know. Please, hope I have not confused us. Hope I am not disorderly in any way. I am following teachings. I am following thoughts too. Amen. Can we say amen? amen? So, eternal life is a reward. It will give to them who have patiently continuance in Doing well, so eternal life is not doing any. Listen, please. What the Lord made me see, which I want to tell every one of us, for the purpose of this light of salvation and everlasting life, is that it's not what you do by yourself that can hand you the reward. There is possibility in our heart. We say, Ah, since the day of the Lord, I must do well, though. I must be good, though. I must be nice. So your goodness, your niceness cannot qualify you for this. He can't. It is what himself bring you to as a work. He will repay each one according to his work. That is work. It's not just you are just working anything. It is the work himself initiates that you begin to do. Okay, let's see, please. Let's see. I don't want to, I don't mean that, please. Amen. Let's see Isaiah chapter 40, please. Lord, amen. Isaiah 40, please. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8. Verse 10. Isaiah 40, 10. Daddy, hope I'm okay, sir. Amen. Be, can we read it, everybody? Can we go? We are not reading again. I've, I don't know. Have I, are you blessed at all? Let's read it. Let's go, everyone. Behold, the Lord God will come with a stronger. Yes? And his arm shall rule for him. Yes? Behold, his reward is with him. Now, please wait. The reward is within. Revelation 22, please. Just little, little, please help me. Have mercy. Revelation 22. I come quickly. And my reward is with me. I don't know if you are reading. No, not this one. And behold. Hallelujah. 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 Behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me. To give every man according as his work shall be. You know, it's related to that Romans chapter 2 where we read. We will render to every man according to his work. Then Isaiah 15, you know, Isaiah, a prophet prophesied about his coming. Isaiah now made us to know. When they say, your work shall be. If you are going to get reward of eternal life, it's not just any work. See now. He said, behold, his reward is with him. You know, he said, my reward is with me. Are you with me, please? Are you with me, please? Then what again? And his work is before him. So it means something is before him. What is before him is his work. What, when he appears to us, is to initiate his work. So the appearances we are going to have in this convention is engagement of his work. When he appears to you, it's not like you see Jesus. Say, hey, multi riches. You can see him like that. No problem. After you have seen Jesus, what is the next thing? The appearances is to initiate work. It's to initiate work. Because the work is before him. His reward is with him. Hallelujah. His reward is with him, but the work is before him. So what will happen? He will appear to you. Before he appear finally, he will appear to you to initiate his works. So, when you do the work, the work becomes your work. Yeah. Philippians, chapter, Philippians chapter 2. Let's see this thing. As I begin to wrap up. Philippians chapter 2. Amen. Amen. You are not saying amen again. Yeah. This is just charge. 
and I know more are coming. Many more. I'm just a forerunner. Look at what he says. He said, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. I don't, are you all with me, please? What did he say you do? Walk out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Then, 13, go. For it is God which walketh in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So, the what, what you are working out is not just your own working. It's what he initiates as you begin to walk. So, what does he initiate? He initiates commandments. Every appearance brings a commandment. When you do that commandment, you are doing the work. So in this convention, what should I look out for? Commandments. Commandments. Every appearance is a commandment. Every appearance is a commandment. Every appearance. Now please, if we, if we have, the way we appear to Pastor Thompson, it's not the way we appear to Pastor Dupe. Because he knows each person's frame. And listen to me. The work is to change our nature. I'm not getting this. The essence of the work is to change our person, to change our configuration, to change our alignment. Okay, what is different between us and Jesus now? It is the commandment in him. The laws in Jesus made him different from us. Even though he has body, but there are different laws inside. So when he comes, he'll be giving us laws. Appearance is law. Appearance is commandment. When is she, so you see, by Sunday, when you'll be going home, you will have seen some commandment that have already been given. So, what should you do with that? Between this convention and our message, Pastor Tayo, you must have engaged in the commandments. As you are doing the command, what are you doing? You are doing the work. Now, Paul did works and he finished them. He now said, by this. I have already owned a crown. May this be our testimony. That I say, may this be our testimony. I'm praying, my father. I pray this convention, may this be our testimonies. The Lord made me know that there, are, there will be many age-long natures that will change in this convention. Listen. Some of us are struggling with certain natures. We have prayed. He has heard. And the deliverance is to give you a key. Because the Lord knows the key to undo that nature. Just obey the commandment for three more. You see that nature has changed. I say nature will change in this convention. Age long nature that have held us captive. In this convention, they will come down. I said they were going to come down. We will have victories over there. We will be prepared sufficiently for that day. In the name of Jesus. In wrapping up, I, this is just what is in my heart. I try to confirm with one or two others that in this convention, the Lord impressed upon my heart that there will be no table healings in this convention. That in this year's convention, I had an appearance and there were confirmations too. That in this convention, there will be no table healings. So, even age long diseases are going in this convention, age long afflictions are going in this convention. You know, I marked that way. He said there will be, he said there will be no table. He said there will be some no table healings. So, no table healings. They will come our way. Why? Because it's also going to change no table natures in this convention. I said, we will encounter the Lord. Can we just give him praise and in anticipation and pray, Lord, I receive your faces. I receive your encounters. Initiate the work in me. Initiate these everlasting works in my soul. Thank you, Lord Jesus.
give glory to God. Can we shout hallelujah? Um, we thank God for our brother, our brother Tosin, Pastor Tosin, Pastor Tima Tosin, Pastor Tosin Gabriel. We just want to say, we receive the grace of God that is in you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the labor. Amen. Can we shout hallelujah? I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? How many of you have been blessed? Let me see your hand up. You know God has blessed you to this for session. Believers Convention this 2023 uh, is going to be a blast in our soul. A lot of blessing. Amen. Um, I just want to thank God for the emphasis of the Lord's coming. Praise the Lord. Can we shout hallelujah? The coming of the Lord. Amen. Uh, the Lord came in songs. We shouldn't joke. They are in measures. And the Lord has come also in this ministration to us. Shout hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. And I'm sure he's going to come again this last session. So we'll go home with coming. I said we are going home with the coming of the Lord. Amen. I, I just love the way Pastor finished it today. Um, uh, showing us that what is very key now to us is to undo him corruption. To undo corruption. Take out the corruptible. Praise the Lord. Shout hallelujah. I just want to also, this is where ministers of the gospel, we labor. We will not, our labor, what is in my heart, and what I feel as what the Lord has said. Hallelujah. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Is to labor on the deeds the Lord actually will render to every man. He will render his reward to every man deed. Amen. So I, I, I am saying it again. This is where we will labor. God told me make sure you have a lot of people invest them into everlasting life. Avest them into everlasting life. Hallelujah. It's going to be both by precept and by lines. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Can we say amen? amen? Today it's a wonderful mixture. We have precepts and we have lines. We have uh, knowledge and we have doctrine. Pastor, thank you. You operated both. Hallelujah. Uh, and uh, there is no way we would do well in lines or doctrine. Hallelujah. So when I'm talking about doctrine, I'm talking about uh, the professional's course of the precept. In university, they don't... University is actually a school of theory. To open your mind or all. But when you go into the profession, it's a different teaching entirely. For example, people who study education, or do people who study, let's say, chemistry, in terms of impartation and nurturing children in that field, someone who studied the education of chemistry would do well. 
and he's going to see the other side of the study. I'm, I, I hope I'm talking to you. There's going to be a firm, he will have a firm grasp of the subject because it's going to impact it. Shout hallelujah. So, educational school are more professional. Amen. Uh, than just going to school to learn the theory. Like law, for example. You can be in the school and finish and read law in the university, but you are not allowed to practice without going to law school. So the purpose of law school is to learn the profession. Amen. I hope I'm talking to you. So you learn the theory. You have the knowledge in the university. You learn the doctrine in the school, law school. Then when you have the doctrine, they will now, okay, we certify you, we send you for, go and practice. So uh, we are going to be having that. And I know the Holy Spirit will drive the ministers of the gospel, hallelujah, in all directions so that we can be well rounded. Can we say amen? amen. Now, knowledge is storage. And it is some strength to gather a lot of things in your soul. But it's not enough in practice. Are you listening to me? It's not enough in practice. So I can gather strength. Because the man of knowledge is strong. Amen. Shout hallelujah. But uh, when God will show mercy on us and say, okay, I want to take you further into the spirit of knowledge itself. The spirit side of knowledge, which is called doctrine. Praise the Lord. They are the, the go ahead to give us skill in the spirit. Is that clear? So we need skill in the spirit for the things we learn by in knowledge by the Spirit of God. I just want to say we is both realms are managed or being dispensed through the Spirit, the power of the Spirit. Shout hallelujah. A time will come. Lord, Holy Ghost is ministering knowledge. Then we see Holy Spirit ministering to us aspect of doctrine. It's not easy to open that door, but when God opened the door, we should be happy. And we should embrace it so we can find entrance, so we can finish our course with joy. Can we shout hallelujah? How many of you are here today? Just greet somebody next to you. Say you are blessed. You are blessed. Hallelujah. I want to greet everybody. I'm greeting every ministers of the gospel. Wonderful people, wonderful ministers who have been laboring with us. Hallelujah. For years now, for decades. You are welcome, Pastor. Reverend Olabode, you are welcome. And the wife, Pastor Emeka, you are welcome, sir. Uh, I welcome Pastor Thompson and the wife, Pastor uh, Olubadebo. I want to welcome my old long-time friend who encouraged me to stay in Lagos and do ministry. Pastor Chukus Chukus. Chuku, let me appreciate him. Hallelujah. So he is one of the pioneers of believing convention in Lagos. He's the one who told me, I think you should stay in Lagos. Not that I, I hear Holy Ghost expressly do believers convention. Hallelujah. Just a, a, an instruction from a friend. Amen. It's an instruction from a friend who love you, who want to see this work. Hallelujah. Prosper in Lagos. Pastor, you are welcome. Please, we appreciate you. I want you to stand up. I want people to appreciate you for me. Amen. Hallelujah. My wonderful brother. Amen. He gave me money to do the convention. Maybe you don't know. He made sure he attached the businessman in his church who has the ministry of help to minister to us, especially myself. Amen. I was, uh, alone. I wasn't married then. Hey, praise God. Shout hallelujah. But Pastor Foot the Bee, hallelujah, he made sure the convention held and it was successful. I will forever be grateful to you, you're my wonderful brother. Let me appreciate him, please. Amen. 
And we, I have, I just want to greet my friends that started with me. I want to greet my mother in the Lord, Reverend Mrs. Oku. They were at the first Believers Convention meeting. They were there. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. They took Pastor Emeka along. He was so young then. Shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are welcome, mommy, all the way from Poland. Amen. Daddy was at that program. Though Daddy is with the Lord right now. Thank you so much. Amen. I will not take your time today. Amen. Can we shout hallelujah? Uh, I just want to tell you all we are doing is to prepare us for a... But there, is, there are appearances... We have a because appearance is also called appearing. Are you listening to me? Uh, but in appearing, there are landmarks in appearing. There are definite landmarks. It does not God does not just appear the same way. There are turnings in appearing. Such is this believers convention. It's going to there is a major turning this year amen that the lord will carry out in this convention so uh, i know the lord said he wants to come amen but i also as a wise person in the spirit i knew i saw the need of many who did not understand this issue of everlasting life who have not been well tutored who have not been well groomed a lot. Even you, who you taught, you know. Are you listening to me? You still need. So we'll use this year to do a lot of coming in. We are going to do you this year to invest. The word you told me is invest enough souls into the uh, into the Ghana, the Ghana of everlasting life. Hallelujah! Praise God. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. I want to say I give you honor. I, I, I bow before you. I thank you tonight. Thank you for the start. Thank you for Pastor Tosi. Thank you for blessing him. So today, Lord, I am trusting you again that I will follow and I will, I will minister in the, in, the, in the grace that you have given to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can we shout hallelujah? Open your Bible. Amen. Open your Bible quickly. Uh, I want to appreciate Mommy Akinola. I want to appreciate... Uh, uh, please let me appreciate Mommy Akinola. Hallelujah. Amen. Also, I want to appreciate Pastor Jesh and the wife all the way from Poland. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, open your Bible quickly. Um, um, uh, into the book of First Peter. Shall Hallelujah. Can we go to First Peter? Amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Um, Father, we thank you. Um, verse 2. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the spirit now elect according to the foreknowledge of the father are you getting me through the sanctification that the holy spirit carried out amen i love the word sanctification hallelujah separation is that sanctification uh and of course this sanctification is a very it's not just the mere sanctification. There are sanctifications in a different point or at different 
descriptions in scripture, but these is a high sanctification. Hallelujah. Uh, this is sanctification in the sanctuary. This is sanctification where? In the sanctuary. Can we shout it again, every one of you? Sanctification where? In the sanctuary. Now, Paul said, I mean, Peter said to the Hebrew church that were scattered throughout uh, Pontius Galatia, uh, scattered throughout uh, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? So Christians who were Hebrew Christian in Israel, shout hallelujah, especially Judea, many of them got scattered and moved out of Israel and they got scattered to different regions, Asia, Pontius, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Can we shout hallelujah? So that tells you these people have been born again since. And if you're going to take a statistics of dates and trying to count the years, hallelujah, after this church, hallelujah, was born, this church was born in, on the day of Pentecost. But by the time it got to this place, years have passed, not so. Shout hallelujah. So uh, I will not be wrong if I say that they, these people are more than, we are more than 30 years in the Lord. So they are not young believers. They are not baby Christians. These are people who have moved on with God for a long time. They had, they been in the faith. They were not just in the faith. They have also journeyed. Or they were, they are pilgrim in the spirit. Hallelujah. And they had gotten to a point by God's mercy. They found themselves sanctified. So Peter was addressing their present state that you were sanctified. Amen. Uh, through the Spirit. Holy Spirit was the, uh, the, the, the tool of sanct it was the one in charge of the sanctification. Holy Ghost oversees this sanctification. Of course, tools were present. Shout hallelujah. Can we say amen? amen. Through the life of Christ, amen, and the uh, the word of God, they came into the place where they are sanctified. So they were actually people in the journey of God. In they were in the season of their sanctuary. So um, I can get to a place in the dimensions of in the dimensions of the temple in God. Hallelujah in the spirit. I can ascend and get into the temple and with my body still here. It means uh, the arena of the temple follow me around. So I carry the place in my earthly sojourn. So I can have the activities of the temple of God ride on me on earth. Or in other words, God will copy the temple and uh, hallelujah interpret it out upon your life as far as is concerned only place is what you are experiencing on earth can we shout hallelujah so that was the sanctuary so god just god knew what the sanctuary measure is are you getting me the spirit of god can read sanctuary and understand the spirit of god knows uh, the discipline in the sanctuary. And the Spirit of God can measure it to you by leading. And will, I will say you have entered into the sanctuary. Is that clear? So you may, if you, you have. Everybody say amen. amen. This is it. If you have an out of the body experience and you get to heaven. And you enter the sanctuary. 
you have not entered the sanctuary. You all have a vision encounter. To enter the sanctuary is to duplicate the work of the sanctuary in your life here. I hope I'm talking to you. So it means you have practiced the sanctuary. You have inherited the sanctuary. You have taken everything about the sanctuary and you have become that tabernacle. When you become that tabernacle that you were trained along to become. Everybody say amen. amen. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? Now the next level for them is obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace unto you. I am going to come down because I'm mindful of people. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Can we shout hallelujah? Can we say amen? amen. Shout hallelujah. Then the next he, he advanced the word. Say, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Which according as his bounded mercy. At begotten us again hallelujah i love the word begotten us again not just begotten you he had begotten us again unto a lively hope hallelujah unto where so everyone please say it after me so lively hope amen everyone say lively hope shout it every one of god's by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. It's still the same thing. You can see there is a sanctuary lesson in resurrection. Are you getting me? There is a sanctuary lesson where when God was raising Jesus up, it was actually raising a subject to be studied. So Jesus was a subject to be studied. Amen. So inside Jesus, there are levels of resurrection. I hope I'm communicating to you. Say amen. amen. So the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, there is the resurrection of Jesus Christ, which is of the dead. Open to the book of uh, Revelation chapter 1, verse 5. Let's see. There are differences. From Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead. So Jesus is the first begotten of the dead. Amen. Not just from the dead. Jesus is also the first begotten from the dead. He's also the first begotten of the dead. So of the dead is a higher calling than from the dead. So what they begat them by unto a higher calling is a resurrection of Jesus from the dead. So it's clear the resurrection of Jesus Christ has been packaged by God the Father as a lesson that soul can learn. So it means I can learn resurrection. In other words, I can learn how to be raised from the dead. Is that clear for me? Shout hallelujah. Now that lesson is higher than a man who have an anointing to raise dead person physically. That is a lower lesson. That is just your spirit entering your body back. Hallelujah. Oh, bro, no, is anybody who is hearing what I'm saying? Shout Hallelujah. Now, if a man of God comes here, is anointed to by God, and God raised somebody back from the dead. And I can tell you, at times, some raising of the dead may not be as powerful as some miracles or healings. You only need the gift of faith for some raising of the dead. Hallelujah. Praise God. When somebody just die in 5-10 minutes and the body is not completely cool and you call back the spirit into the body, you is not too much of a measure of God's power am I communicating to you to create an ear where the man does not have an ear or to create, make the eyes of the man pop open 
and he's are you getting me blessed with eyes are you listening to me so you can see you need more power you need more uh more power and more spiritual energy to bring creativity and then just to call somebody who is just pass from the body so it's possible as a body is as a body without the spirit is dead so faith is without work also is dead so you can just say but spirit come back to the body can we shout hallelujah now where i respect jesus i'm talking about this death of lazarus it's more it's there is a creative power there gift of faith operated working of miracle operated the body has already been decomposing to put that body back you know you need a lot of power you need a lot of spiritual power you need a lot of spiritual gifts working of miracle was at work that day how many of you know that it's not just gifts of healing alone working of miracle was at, was at work gifts of healing was at work and then gift of faith was in operation. They told him, behold, behold, now he's thinking, come on, roll out the stone. Something possesses Jesus' heart. Without fear, hallelujah, he faced the tomb and said, Lazarus, comfort. Nobody carried Lazarus to comfort. When Lazarus was coming forth, hear me, Lazarus' body that was smelling, the body turned into a new body entirely. That was a creative power. I hope I'm communicating to you. Diseases in Lazarus, they were healed. Gifts of healing was in operation. Everybody say amen. amen. I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. He that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes. Can we say amen? amen. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? This is what happened to many Christians. You've been raised, but they need to remove your grave clothes. Jesus said, say unto them, and Jesus said unto the teachers, the pastors, the apostles, lose him and let him go. Can we shout hallelujah? Are we blessed? I am blessed. Let's get to First Peter chapter 1 to be gotten again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So, resurrection of Jesus from the dead Hallelujah. And with, the, with an experience of God's teaching or doctrine in the sanctuary from the dead. Amen. From the dead. I want you to see of the dead. Let's see who they are in, in the book of uh, Hallelujah. Praise God. Shout Hallelujah. Uh, book of Revelation chapter 1. Verse 5, I'm from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth. Are you listening to me? Unto, I love the word that is the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth. Amen. The, the, this, listen to me. These people who are of the dead are kings. They are kings, and Jesus is their prince. Jesus is who, sir? Hallelujah. Everyone said, the prince of the kings of the earth. This is the people Jesus is directly a king over. Jesus rules them. It's only, it can only take Jesus to lord it over this kind of people. Everybody say, amen. How? Everybody say, How? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. There is something about the resurrection of the dead. Philippians chapter, chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2. I think I'm correct. 3. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 5. Hallelujah. Okay, verse 6. Let's see it. Shout hallelujah. But the things which I, I count, okay, verse, verse 5. But the things we are gained to me, those I counted a lot for Christ. Yet doubtless I count all things but not for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung that I might win Christ. Now, I'm being found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is 
through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. Amen. That I may know him and the power of resurrection and the fellowship of his sovereignty made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Are you seeing it, sir? Do you see that? He didn't say he would die then be raised physically. So it's a place you can attain. So some people can die. Look at me. You can die and Jesus can raise you up but you are not, you have not attained unto where, sir? Unto the resurrection of the dead. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Uh, is that clear? Are we here? Now let's open back the book of First Peter again. So begotten again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So everyone, praise the Lord. E everyone, hallelujah, say everyone that has learned the lesson of the sanctuary or any saint that is sanctified is being raised from the dead. Any saint, that is what, my brother? All of us must shout it after me. Any saint, say it again, every one of us, that has encountered, that has learned, that has actually gone through sanctification of the spirit is being raised from the dead. Why you yet live it? Something is raised from the dead is not your body, is your soul. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Even though your spirit is life, but your soul is still dead. You are the dead in your soul. Hallelujah. So the first lesson is to be raised from the dead. Shout hallelujah first of all. That's when you learn the lesson of being sanctified. Amen. Amen. All of us must say amen. amen. Can you give me that place, Pastor Thompson, in the scripture where you say a person that what lacks understanding is like who, sir? He, oh my God. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where it is? Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. The man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain where? So what is understanding? Are you listening to me? Say understanding. understanding. Shout say understanding. understanding. Say it again, every one of us. Say it again, every one of us. So understanding is what determines your state in the spirit. So if your eyes of understanding is not enlightened, hallelujah, you are dwelling where? So it means you congregate with the dead. Hallelujah, you congregate, you are congregating with the dead. Can we say amen? amen. So my understanding places me, my understanding defines me and the understanding hallelujah is an understanding that is at that time in my soul where you see all of us are in places right now every one of us we are in places can we shout hallelujah so we are known in our place by the level of our understanding Now, there are things that defile it and we may not know they defile because we don't have enough understanding. Say, so the man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain where? In the congregation of who's that? You may be coming to church, you are not in the congregation of them that live. So when, oh glory to God, hallelujah, when Peter was writing to the Hebrew church that were scattered, he was telling them that their soul had been begotten. 
At times you need to tell the soul. The present state that soul has attained. Paul was reminding the Hebrew church and said, listen, you have wandered away from the, are you listening? Away from the, from the world of what's that? Of foolishness. Ignorance. Hear me? You have journeyed to a place of understanding. In fact, you have come to a spot in understanding. He said, you have come unto Mount Zion. The city of the living God. The company of, you know, the congregation of innumerable angels. You have come to the what's that? General Assembly. You have come to come to where, sir? To the church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God the judge of all, and you have come to the spirits of just men made perfect. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. We must say hallelujah. hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? Then he said again, listen to me, you have also come to Jesus. Or you have come to what, sir? Jesus, to the mediator of the covenant and to the and to the blood of sprinkling you have come hallelujah by journey hallelujah god are taking you away from wandering in the congregation of the dead then i have brought you by light and understanding and by dealing to the congregation of the living that's why they call Mount Zion the city of the living God. So who you find there in Zion are living entities, living angels, living Christians, living souls. Oh, we must shout hallelujah. Living beings, living God. Hallelujah, the city of the living God. And to God, the judge of all. Everybody say amen. amen. Uh, 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 the, the place that shocked me the most, the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than what, sir? Then you can understand. When Peter is now writing to them, after this epistle, he said to the brethren, to, the, to them which are scattered abroad throughout Pontius, Galatia, hallelujah, amen, <laughs> Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, Bithynia. Amen. Elect, elect, elect. Elect, when you were led, you have been elected. Elect, according to the foreknowledge of God, the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit. Also, when they were being led, hallelujah, they were being sanctified. They got to a place, they let them, let them, let them, they made them holy. After some time, they led them into being sanctified. They led them through sanctification experience. And this happened to them. Hallelujah. They became sanctified. And then it's okay. Since you have attained the saints who have been sanctified, it's also equivalent to you being raised from the dead by the resurrection from of, of jesus christ from the dead so resurrection of jesus christ from the dead is not just um hallelujah it's not just that immediate fix it's not just that are you listening to me thing that that happened on the third day alone there is a lesson in it it means jesus received a compressed lesson in short time is that clear sir when jesus went to the dead jesus was actually <laughs> Procuring for us, amen, giving us access, buying for us access of knowledge. Hallelujah. Knowing God. Everyone say, knowing God. Knowing God. Amen. Say, knowing God. knowing God. I'm not hearing you say, knowing God. knowing God. So, knowing God in the New Testament is actually the knowledge of resurrections. So, what you teach the saint is how to be raised. Is resurrection, resurrection, resurrection. So when you come to church, teach resurrection, 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 resurrection. But they are packaged in manifesto or lessons in the spirit. Hallelujah. That is not obvious to many. Uh, for example, faith. The just shall live by faith. Is one resurrection lesson. When you are living by faith, you are being raised. 
when you are living by faith, what do I say you are? It's happening to you. You are being raised from the dead. When you get to peace, therefore being justified by faith, hallelujah, we have peace with God. Are you getting me? Say amen. amen. Shout hallelujah. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand. Rejoice where? In the hope of the glory of God. For a man to stand in grace in the spirit. For you to stand in this grace in the spirit. You have to live by faith for a while. You have to live by faith for a while. Now, listen to me. Before God, you are not raised in your soul. Shout hallelujah. Before God, you are not raised in your soul. I know we know all the chaos stuff. I know which I don't disagree with. I am raised and made to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I am raised from the dead with Jesus. And I'm made to sit where? But let's see that place first of all. Hallelujah. Let's see that place. Verse 3. Hallelujah. Amen. Among whom we had our conversation in time past, lost to the flesh, was in the desires of the flesh and of the mind, with by nature the children of wrath, even as others, but God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, we are with he love us. Listen, watch this. Even when we were dead in sins, at quickening us together with Christ, by grace are you saved. That's a full stop. That's some kind of column. Is on kind. Are you seeing full stop is on top? Comma is under it. That's what makes semicolon. Am I communicating to you? When you have full, listen to when you have full colon, meaning you have two full stop on top of one another. There is a denominator, there is a numerator. Am I communicating to that full stop? There are two full stop by the side. Telling me all these, these two things are full stop. You have been saved. How? You are quickened together with Christ. Then he start and at raise us up together. <laughs> and at raise us up together and made us sit together. Where? So it means when you were born again, you were safe. Then he, ha he has raised you up. Listen to me. He has raised you up. He's, he's on God's side. Hallelujah. It's on God's side, not on your side. There are things God did, but he has not done it in you. So to raise you up, you've not really been raised up. It's high time for you to be raised up. So you have to learn the lesson of being raised up. And that raised us up together, made us sit together. Where? Where? In Christ Jesus, made you sit together. When I say I was teaching it to many, I started in 1986. Hallelujah. I started teaching this message. I taught it till 88, 89. In 1989, 88, God told me there is more. There is more. You can't just assume that you are already there. I want to teach you the process, the experience of it. How these things have been made. I hope, I hope I didn't dash the hope of many today. I'm not a wicked man. I'm a lover. Hallelujah. Everybody say hey, amen. And I raise us up to God to me. Listen. First, you are saved. It finishes in. The secondly, and has raised us up together. He went ahead to do things for us. Hallelujah. I'm not hearing. He went ahead and did these things for us without us being present. Okay, Jesus had died for everyone. Has Jesus not died for everybody? Yes. Shout hallelujah. Will Jesus die for you afresh? No. You just have to believe the message. Amen. amen. Oh, glory. Say amen. amen. You have to believe the message because it's activated in you. Do you know you can go to hell even without all that Jesus has done? Oh, my father. I said, you can go to hell. So God don't, will not force gift upon you. He won't force you to be blessed. There is no by force blessing. He said, if you are willing and obedient, you eat of the good of the land. Can we shout hallelujah? 
Can we say amen? amen. Sound hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. amen. So God, Peter here is saying to them, he said, listen, God begat us again. So this new birth, or this birth, Peter is referring to, is a birth beyond your spirit being born again. Is their soul that was begotten again. Everybody say amen. amen. Uh, by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So that their soul that is uh, experienced the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Amen. It's also an experience of their sanctification. Hear me. Hallelujah. Someone will say, what do you mean? Um, uh, there is that experience you had in your spirit when God raised your spirit from the dead, but not your soul. It's, it was immediate. Now, where people have problem is, Bible says, not by works, not lest any man should boast. Then give me verse, verse 10 of Ephesians. Give me verse 10. You are for Hallelujah. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus. Unto. Unto what? All of us must shout that. I want everybody to say it. <laughs> so if you say, I am created, not unto good works. I'm just created in Christ Jesus. I'm going away. Hallelujah. Good. I'm not, I, don't, I'm not, I don't have a concern. I am good works. Has no has no relationship. Good works go away because I don't, it's not by works I was saved. So it means you were created to do good works. And these works are so important that God had to ordain it that you should work in them. So there is no way you can escape from works. So what Paul is saying that that you being raised from the dead is a walk and had raised you up and made you to sit. For you to sit, you have to walk. Are you listening to me? Say hey man, to raise you is a walk. So being raised is to walk. So he Paul said that I might attain unto resurrection of the dead. To attain means I have to move. I have to move from where I was to the resurrection of the dead. So it's a walk, it's a movement, it's an exodus. Hallelujah, it's a movement. It's, it's actually a walk that I am practicing when they are raising me up. So we're not saying, walk is the same with being raised. So if God your work for you, you will not be raised. You will be raised, and you do it, you are raised. When the angel told, hallelujah, told Ezekiel, measure a thousand cubits, and no, no, it doesn't matter, Ezekiel. Hallelujah, I'm already raised. I'm already raised. But immediately, it took steps. Water began to rise. It took another step. Water rose. He took another step, water rose. He took another step, he became a baptism. It was only he mass in the water. Are you going to It means he has been raised, are you listening to me, by the work he had measured. Oh, glory to God. Is that clear? Amen. It became a water that nobody could walk but to swim. Like as Christ was baptized from the, from, you can, was raised from the dead, hallelujah. Like as Christ was raised from the dead, even we also <laughs> should walk. Hey, it means resurrection power. At that, it has become a walk energy. It's God who knows how to conserve energy. Telling you, energy cannot be destroyed, but can, be, can change from one form to another. God has changed resurrection power into a walk. 
He has changed it into a walk. It means when you take steps in the spirit, hallelujah, you are being raised. Then Peter is not wrong. When he said, God begat you again by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. He's not saying God came, buried you, waited for some time, raised you up again. You guys have been raised. You are dead. Then we raise you up. But to God, raising a person, look at me, raising a person is raising his faculty. Raising a person is raising his heart. Raising a person is quickening him to, hallelujah, to fellowship with certain understanding that he was separated from before. So when God found Abraham, who was an Assyrian, ready to perish, hallelujah, that means ready to go, aspire, then God led him. God taught him how to think. God taught him how to walk. God taught him how to live. And Jesus said, don't you know what the scripture says, oh you scribes? Don't you hear what the scripture says, you Sadducees? He is the God of the living, not the God of the dead. He is the God of Abraham. He is the God of Isaac. He is the God of Jacob. All these men were led. So when they were leading them, they were raising them. So allow God to lead you in this end time. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, Oh, how many people will allow leading of the spirit? So what is God leading you away from? Oh, some people have mastered on how to practice death. They have become death practitioner. Are you listening to me? But God is going to train you and take death out of your domain. So he has already provided for you a vocation of life. You're a professional by God. God has called you unto good works, which he had ordained even before the foundation of the world that you should walk. Walk in them. So what churches need is walk. I say what churches need is what, sir? I just want to say to you, keep walking. I say keep walking. And you cannot defeat your foes without walking. Amen. Israel kept walking. They kept walking. They walk and walk. Oh, Red Sea open. They walk and walk and walk. Manafair. They kept walking. Yeah, water came out of the rock. They kept walking. They kept walking. They never stopped. They kept walking. And they kept walking. Walking. And we saw wonders. Yeah. Pillar of cloud led them by day. Pillar of fire led them by night. Because they kept walking. They kept walking. The cloud departed. Yeah, they kept walking. They were introduced to the Ark of the Covenant. They kept walking and they walked. They met Jordan. The feet of the priest stepped into the waters and the waters parted. They kept walking. Hey, they kept walking. They walked into the promised land. They kept walking. The inhabitants of the lands were destroyed. They kept walking. They never stopped. They kept walking and they walked until they possessed their possession. So you keep walking. Hey, I say your legs in the spirit uh, are in ordinary. He's giving for you to measure. Keep working. Keep measuring. Keep working. Hey, Amen. When you walk, you walk, you walk, you walk, you walk, you walk, you walk. You, you tread upon sapiens and scorpions. Uh, keep walking non-stop. A time will come. You develop a feet that can tread upon lion. Ada. You keep walking. You tread upon the young lion and then the dragon as I keep walking never stop walking I can see something happening inside of you I see the leg of somebody on your inside I see the feet of the almighty I see God walking in you. Keep walking. Non-stop. Keep walking. Never stop. 
keep walking, never stop. As you walk, your change will come. As you walk, your inheritance will come. Keep walking, keep walking, never stop walking. Yeah, on this earth, we are born to work, not to stop. Yeah, we have adversary, but keep walking, never fear. Keep walking, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Work, I say work. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Kukereka, Mata, hey, hey. Oh, 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 oh. I saw some people walking. Later, they began to run. They were running. They were running. They were running. Because God has made your feet like behind. You would tread upon your high places. I said, keep running. Keep walking. Keep running. Keep walking. Keep running. Keep walking. Keep running. Keep changing. Hey. <laughs> Glory. Tonight, hear the word of the Lord. Those who have sicknesses in their bodies, walk out of it right now. Run out of it. Run out of it. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Feet are dangerous. A man, a being without a foot, is like a man with his course. And a stire. I said today, let there be your feet even upon thy leg. Let there be healing upon thy leg. Let your feet grow. Let it grow. And let it grow, grow out, grow, 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 <laughs> I am my yoga. I am my yoga. I see some people have stopped walking. I see some people have stopped walking. But I can see resurrection power taking you up, healing your legs, healing your legs, healing your legs. Healing your legs, healing your legs, healing your legs, healing your legs, giving you life, giving you power, raising you up, making you powerful, healing your legs, making you go forward. You are be healed. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I sense in my spirit. I sense in my spirit. Ah. 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 As I'm laughing, evil spirits are coming out. As I'm laughing, sicknesses are going. I've been healed. As I'm laughing, diseases. Diseases are living as I'm laughing. I 
Am I talking to people who are no longer in the congregation of the dead? Don't get discouraged. I just want to tell you, do a few push. Just push a little bit. Just push more. Some of you push. Just push. Push in the spirit. Move in the spirit. Oh, ho, ho. at times you become fatigued. At times you become tired. That time you are tiring. Actually, you are burning fat. You are getting shaped. You are exercising. You are trimming down. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't say I'm dying. Don't stay in debt. Don't remain in your debt. Push. I just said push. I said push. I said push in the spirit. Keep pushing. Just keep pushing. Hey, hey, push. You will pass. You will pass from death unto life. You will pass. Amen. I know, look at me, as the Lord God liveth, I know, I know, healing has taken place. And that healing is a sign that you have moved today. <laughs> Your legs that are weak have been strengthened. I say, I know, I know, my God, I know, I say, I know, I know, he has raised you, he has raised you, amen. Amen. Can we sit down? You'll soon go home. It's clear. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Just help me interpret quickly. So I will just say a few words, then we'll go back home. Amen. Oh, glory to Jesus. I can make an egg. 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 I can make another. I make another. I make. I make. I make. I make new feet. 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 I make another. Another. And another. And another. And another. New feet. New feet. New feet. New feet for you. 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 For yeah, even you, even you, even you who have been confused and confounded and confounded, even concerning your walk in the spirit. Even you who have been confused, who have been confounded concerning your walk in the spirit. For you say, yeah, I have no feet. I have no feet. But I say to you, you have feet now. You have feet now. You have feet to walk. See your feet. See your feet. See your new feet. See your new feet. See your new 
feet. See a new feet. I make new feet. I make new feet. I make new feet. And then there are you. You, you will say, oh, I have no ground to walk in. I have no space to walk in. I have no place to walk in. Here, your Lord. Here, you. I make new ground. I make new ground. For I bring you into new ground. Into new terrain. Into a new terrain. Into a new terrain. And I give you sight to see. To see your walk in the spirit. For there is a new walk for you. There is a new definition for you. Even for a new walk. Even to a new walk. Come up. Come up into higher ground, into higher ground. Walk upon your high places. Walk upon your high places. Take your high places. Take your high places. Take your high places. Take your high places. Say the Lord. Amen. I have, like the gift of faith is operating in me now unusual gift of faith for the spiritual is for the spiritual is operating in me amen praise the lord shout hallelujah the gift of faith is operating in me i'm seeing impossibilities become impossible. Now somebody will ask me, Reverend, what are you saying? I'm seeing you being so empowered. Responding to God. Unto the resurrection of the dead. Hey, hi, hi. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, yeah, ma. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey. Gidonata. Ajata. Enata. Oh. Imakara. Jesus. God the Father was busy raising the dead in the Old Testament. He was raising men, raising them out of dead, out of the dust of dead. He was raising them likes of Abraham, likes of Isaac. He succeeded likes of Jacob and even found one in another generation called Joseph. He raised him up. Amen. And he kept raising and he's raising and raising and raising. Now, that, that, that issue of raising of the dead, when you read the Old Testament, people see only the physical miracle, which is true, which are true. But there was something God was doing on the net. He was raising men. Now listen to me, people are no longer appreciating this kind of ministry. But I want to let you know, God is raising again. Ask me a question for a long time. Yeah, the dead are not been raised for a long time in Christianity, but in this end time, I said the graves will be open and men will hear the voice of the Son. You are hearing. I say you are hearing. Nobody will leave this convention without being raised. Yeah. You know God can do it, sir. Noah was a wonder. No, Jonah was a wonder to Nineveh because he was raised. He was killed. He was raised. He preached for three days. <laughs> he preached resurrection message. And Jesus said, no sign shall be given to you. I said the sign of Jonah. I said the sign of Jonah. How many know that this adulterous generation need no sign but one sign? What is the greatest sign? 
resurrection. I say resurrection. I say resurrection. God is going to raise. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you listening to me? Say amen. amen. Many difficult African people in their tradition buried beneath, beneath tradition of men. Are you getting me? Buried, buried, buried beneath. God will go there and raise them up. When we say we raise churches, shout hallelujah, is not to build building. Raise men. Raise them. Raise them from their thought. And I want to tell you, ministers of the gospel that come to this convention, I am promising you that heaven will open upon you. They will change your weapons. And then you'll be able to raise men. How many of you know that? At times, you see some of these deadness. They differ. Spirits play pranks. But God will give you the insight to understand the DNA of the graveyard. And then you will assault it. And the deadness will collapse. I said tonight, you have been raised from the dead. Your thoughts have been raised from the dead. So when Paul Peter was saying, elect according to the foreknowledge of God, through sanctification of the spirit, are you getting me? Unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood. It was referring to people God has raised. I said God has raised them. Shout hallelujah. Can we say amen? amen. I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. I say I give glory to God tonight. Say, I am. Is it possible to thank God? That the dead are raised. Thoughts are changed. Chains fell. People are turning. Hallelujah. Finally, I just want to say something. Are you willing to hear me? There is no way according to soul design there is no way you will raise the dead without the soul cooperating. Your cooperation is your willingness to obey. When a soul made up his mind and or make up our mind and say, I am not willing. It means you want to remain in your debt. It is debt that makes us to argue against life when it is presented to you. The reason why is this one is deadness. It's at work. Some of the people who are in it don't know. When the word of life is being presented, you argue against your resurrection. I said to you, no, you will no longer do that again. Yeah. Reverend Busui, somebody is offering me life. I'm checking it. Is it heresy? If it's not, listen to me. If it is heresy, you don't check it. Real heresy, people don't check it. You swallow it. But when it comes, it comes a pill that will heal your deadness. You check it. It's a lie. It's deception. It's because men love darkness rather than light. And they don't want to come into light because their deeds were evil. I said today, but you are not, you are not of them who draw back to perdition, but you are of them who believe to the saving of the soul. So I'm ministering to all our sundry and saying to those who are in Canada, I say be raised. I say be raised. Yeah. Germany, be raised. Yeah. Those who are in every part, is it? Are you in Arabia? I say be raised. In China, be raised. Yeah. Am I saying hey, amen? Yeah. So all resurrection has works attached to it. Resurrection lesson are uh, walks. You must walk. So if you're able to walk it, you have done it. It's all like trying to teach a child to walk. And the child has never practiced walking. <laughs> I 
and the child sit down and say, walk. He said, I refuse to walk. He will be there 10, 15 months not walking. Practice the world. You remember our parents, they help us. How many of you remember that bicycle made with Paco? Am I talking to you? Just to make you walk. Walk is important. Walk makes the parents happy. They want to see, because if you are not walking, they are not sure of your destiny. But if you engage in walking, you are saying to them that, listen to me, I am going places. Walk is a measure of your growth. When you walk, you tell them you are growing, you are becoming better. Listen to me, you may gather age by, what's that? By numbers. You may gather age by what, sir? When, when years passes by, when they see you for 10 years, you've not been able to stand up. Uh, they say, okay, your prayer, what will your prayer say? It's not growing. I don't care your long time in Christian faith. As long as you have not walked, you have not grown. And God forbid them to come near the altar. A priest is he who has height than the altar. When they do have one to offer, they banish him. Please, he's condemned. Don't let him offer. He's not allowed. Everybody say amen. amen. But make sure you are growing up. Amen. Make sure you are rising up. Amen. And your rise is your walk, is your leg. Every leg is walking. Amen. I'm not saying must walk. I say it, it is walking. Amen. Except you hurt your leg, you break it again. That's your own palaver. But if you want your leg to walk, it's already walking. Amen. I say check your legs. I said, check your legs in the spirit is walking. Amen. I don't want to laugh. Somebody is already laughing spirits has already captured somebody here. So I don't want to. You <laughs> I'm a tet. <laughs> I don't want to laugh honestly speaking. <laughs> that laughter is contagious. <laughs> Amen. No, I refuse. <laughs> I inheritance, incorruptible, on the fire, that fades not away, reserved for you in heaven, ready to be revealed at the last time, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, hallelujah, ready to be one, revealed at the last time. Are you blessed today? I want everybody to shout hallelujah. I want you all to shout hallelujah. hallelujah. This convention is going to rest on teaching people how to walk. Until your readiness for to walk becomes so strong, so heightened. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. 
Father, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Can we begin to thank you? Can we begin to can we begin to thank him? Can we begin to break it all this earth here? Hallelujah. Amen. We bless. Is it possible to? I want you to pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Of another. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Say amen. Amen. Shout hallelujah. I want to say this to you. Walk while it is yet day. You have, when you have the opportunity to walk and you are not doing it, and that day passes, darkness will come. Darkness will come. Walk while it is what, sir? Yet day. The Lord shall give thee light. What light? The light that makes your day. So we have the, now we have an opportunity of a day upon us. That day talks about season of understanding to comprehend what work we should do and for us to carry it out. Jesus was in his day, not so sir. He was seeing the Father walking. Hallelujah. And he was doing likewise. Shout Hallelujah. Why? Walk while it is yet day. A time will come. What will happen? When darkness will come, no man can walk. When God's season passes, another season takes it over. But I pray that the season of God will never pass over you. You will come into God's day. Shout hallelujah. Now, walk is prophecy. 
walk is fulfilling prophecy. Praise God. Shout hallelujah. We all know that no prophecy of the scripture is of private interpretation. But the only men of God were, were moved. Hallelujah. Amen. But for the prophecy came in, not in old time by the will of man, but only men of God, as they spake, they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise God. But he said this, let's see, 19. We have a more sure word of prophecy. We have what? We have also. Also. A more what, sir? That what? That you take heed as unto a light that shineth in the dark place until the day dawn. And what will rise in your heart? And the day star arise in our heart. Hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? When your day is full, your work is done. Hallelujah. When they say day dawn, the work is done. It means God has called you to come and walk a day with him. It, it, what has he called you into? He said, now is the accepted time. It, the, say the day. Shout it out. Say the day of salvation. So, say it again. Now is the accepted time. Now Second Corinthians chapter 6. Say the Lord. For he said, I have had thee in the time accepted. This is where you meet the high priest to intercede for you, to succor you. And in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. So the day of salvation, what kind of a day is it? It's the day of work. When your work is done, shout hallelujah. Then we will say you are saved. So salvation is a day. Shout hallelujah. Salvation is what every one of you, I want everybody to shout. Go, go home with it. Say salvation is a day. And I want to tell you, God is giving you a day. Say, I have my day. All of you should shout that I praise him. What is that your day? My salvation. So God is giving you a salvation and it's your day. What do you do in day of salvation? Walk. Walk it. While it is day, do your work. While it is day, shout hallelujah. He say, Jesus answered, they are not 12 hours in the day. 12, 12, 12 hours in the day. Amen. If any man walk in the day, he stumbleth not. Because what happened? He sees the light of this world. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbleth. Because there is no light in him. Is there a place they walk while it is yet day? Give it to me quickly. Hallelujah. Walk. While. Jesus has said there are no 12 days. I know. John 8. Shout hallelujah. Amen. I want us to go and finish. <laughs> you see, I'm not by the books again. Hallelujah. Praise God. For I must walk the walks of him that sent me while it is day. For the night cometh. Okay. So what day is he talking about? Amen. The day of salvation. So God gave him a work to do. And he said to his dad, I have finished the work you gave me upon the head. He said, I have glorified thee on the earth and I have finished the work which you thou givest me to do. I said, God will empower you to walk. Oh, I feel for people who say, Reverend, I have not learned so much. How can this thing be? Don't worry. Stay till seven days. Just stay till with us from Sunday to Saturday. Then you will see. You will see the principles of this day. Now, God is going to raise many here. He's going to give you a resurrection catapult. He's going to cause something to happen. He's going to quicken you because you need to quicken people. Quicken you to a place where your reasoning capacity can comprehend seasons. May you, may you come into that season. 
Can we shout hallelujah? So walk. As the father raised up the dead and quickened the dead, even so the son quickened it, whom he will. Amen. So uh, like they want is God doing with day. To quicken. The day is the father's domain for walk. The day is the father's domain for walk. So when God comes into a day and visits it, he's about to walk. God is about to walk. Hallelujah. One walk. God will ever boast of and call it a walk was, was when he raised Jesus. Hallelujah. When he walked, my brother, he raised Jesus. Hallelujah. Then he say, and they ask him, what must we do to do the works of God? Jesus said to them, believe on him that he sent. And all of this is what God has done. Go and do me likewise. Shout hallelujah. But you see, you cannot do him. I said you have the opportunity of grace to bring a season that that work can be effective. What is that season? The season of the day. Everybody shout hallelujah. And I see God. I see they are injecting your mind. I saw an angel of the Lord. They are standing. I, but now I can see they are injecting your mind. They are injecting your, 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 your reasoning, your faculty to see this day, to be able to hold it tangibly. So this day will come upon you. Everybody say amen. amen. And it will become your own day. Amen. You will celebrate in this day. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Can we say amen? amen? How many of you will say, Lord, I thank you for today. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you are happy with me today? Every one of you. You know, I thought very simply today, very short. Shout hallelujah, and the work is finished. Amen. Amen. That's why when the spirit quickens, the thing will be faster. Yeah. I said, God will quicken all things. Yeah. I said before this convention, I said, God will quicken all things. Yeah. So don't be angry when I'm teaching for two hours another day. That's another system. Everybody shout hallelujah. Let us begin to thank him. Let's give him glory. Let's praise him. Let's honor him. Amen. Let's worship him. Amen. I, I want to tell man of God, God wants to give you in heart enough to raise some debt in your churches. <laughs> when you see some out, some people how dead they are, they cry. A minister of the gospel will give up, but they want to enlarge your heart. <laughs> but you have to. God will quicken your heart, enlarge it, to welcome some people, all manner of debt. And then they will raise them under you. You will have to, they will teach you the ability to be patient. We all know it's the long suffering of God. God will, will bless minister and enlarge you enough. Some people, you, 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 when, you, when they manifest, you get this call. You say, okay, God, this person, nothing can happen to this person. But God will help us. God will quicken us. God will raise us. Are we blessed today? Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We honor your name. We bless you. We thank you for how you have blessed us. Thank you because this blessing will stay. To you be the glory. To you be the honor. Thank you for how you have raised people in this congregation this night. Thank you for your son, Pastor Tosi. We thank you for how you encountered him, empowered him to be a blessing to us. Lord, I ask that you will Quicken him again. You are honored in our midst for us to honor your name and honor your son by whom we live, by whom we have access to you. Thank you, Father. Thank you tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Who will say, Lord, I want to give offering. I want to give offering. Amen. Just your normal offering. Amen. Praise God. Let's give our offering. Amen. Don't play with your offering. 
Amen. Don't play with your offering. Give offering. Uh, some people say there are, there's no need to give tithes again. After some time, they will attack offering. I'm waiting for that time. They will attack that there's no way. You, are you getting me? That the real New Testament about offering is Kalisko, Katalu, Kappa. Amen. <laughs> Amen. One Hebrew word, they will tell you, say, ah, it's not offering. He said the root meaning means love. Mm -mm. Offering. Offering. Hallelujah. Everyone say offering. Shout hallelujah. No matter how spiritual you are, you cannot be more spiritual than God. Amen. Hallelujah. L hallelujah. Moses, are you ready? Okay. The offering is going on. Okay. If you want to transfer, you can see the account where you transfer into. Praise God. Shout hallelujah. Amen. I will give my own offering too. Praise the Lord. Apostle Tom, have you, have you taken out the offering for me? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Every meeting when you are coming for this convert, package your offering well. It's also part and parcel of your worship. Please, do it. <laughs> I don't want to talk, but this, this offering is part and parcel of your worship in this convention. Can we say amen? Amen. amen. So that the grace of God can redound to glory. Grace can redound to glory to make grace walk hallelujah uh, we need to close quickly amen Shout hallelujah. don't rush out a lot of people are outside praise the Lord so uh, just watch it walk discreetly don't follow your brother don't push the elders hallelujah amen Nobody will take your own plate. It's there for you in the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Some people are no longer here. They are already there in the kitchen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's good to be there. I understand. Uh, are we ready? Can we lift up? Can we stand up? Let's share the grace. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. It's good to just greet somebody. Walk in love. Share your charity. Give love. Amen. We appeal to our young ones. Don't leave anything on any chair. If you leave them, we will move them to the security post. Please, because of ministers' conference tomorrow, we need all the chairs to be... If you come on time, you take a seat. But please, don't keep any chair. Thank you.